All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Um, today I made the delay a little bit in my uh, time to uh, to do my uh, uh, usual program because I was working in my roof. Uh, I have a big problem in the roof, and um, I was uh, I am the handyman. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I hope um, you know. I stop working because I have uh, promised to be here. Otherwise, I'm not done, and maybe it's going to take me more two more days. Uh, today, our topic is about that what Muslims claim that the Quran mentioned things which is scientifically correct. And you know, me with my experience reading this book. I don't want to say from the cover to the cover because the Quran does not have a cover and actually the Muslim do not know which verse is the first and which one is the last however let us say I read all the pages which the Muslims they have today of their book and I could not one thing in the Quran match with science but the Muslims they claim that there is science in the Quran and each time we get through what they claim they found we found that it is nothing but a scam uh, <clears throat> you know everyone he have the right to present his belief to be the best and for sure the Muslims are the same as the rest you know if you speak to someone he's a Jehovah's Witnesses he will say you know his belief is the right one if you speak to someone is a Mormon he will say that he is uh, the saved one is if you speak to the Buddha, to the Hindu, to the you know, I mean, it's normal to uh, to believe and to think that your belief is the best, but it's not normal to fabricate lies in order to make people believe that your religion teaching the truth. You know what I mean? Otherwise, defending anyone, defending his faith, even an atheist, he have a religion. Even the atheist who don't believe in God, he have a religion. His religion is not to believe in God. So anyone have the right to defend his belief, but to create lies in order to make your belief truthful, that is madness. And this is what we will prove to you today, that Muslims, they lie when they say we are speaking the truth about Islam. You see, I'm not saying the Muslim, they lie about everything. I'm saying those who they claim to be religious, those who spread propaganda is not exist in the Quran, spread teaching translation is a false translation and they say things have nothing to do with what is in the Quran you see the title it says it is Allah whom he created from everything male and female I don't know if there is a Muslim would like to call me but just to be sure there is a Muslim will call me hold on let me let me open my Skype and please for now only uh, uh, only Muslims can call me for now <clears throat> let me let me log in. All right, we are in Skype already. In case any Muslim would like to call, feel free, please. Uh, Until a Muslim call us, I have no choice but to show you a Muslim website speaking about what they call a scientific miracle, and Allah is the one who discovered it. This is a Muslim website. It's called QuranMiracles.com. Creation in pairs. Astronomy. anti quarks creation and pairs for strong I don't know what is that this is the tags this article is exist in Albanian Arabic Bosnian and Turkish okay that's mean the lie is a translated to many languages all right sound good uh In front of us here, the article saying, starting with 
a verse from the Quran, chapter 36, verse number uh, 36. This is their choice. A glory to be the one who created impairs all things that the earth produce as well as themselves and other things they do not know. Okay. Notice here the Muslims they choose a translation for us and I'm going to take their translation as it is. Just to examine the intelligence of the Abduls who do do make those articles. Let me see first if you guys you see the article uh, text all of it. Not part. Hold on. Is the text coming to you guys? Is it clear? All right. Look like it's coming clear. All right. The Arabic word azwaj is a pearl of zawj. Hey guys, do you remember? Do you remember when I was uh, debating a guy? His name is Nightmare. The guy he said to me, "Azwaj does not mean pear." <laughs> All right. Now, meaning pears, matches, partners. There are three sort of pears in creation, as described in the verse. There's a three sort of pears in this verse. Okay. A pear is that grow from the earth, i.e. plants that have a spice, etc., blah, blah, and sex. Human pears, male and female. Also, some include a human, like uh, uh, Beverly, Crodic, love, hate, what is this? This became so about emotion, too. I mean, God created from emotion everything. Even emotion, there's two things. Okay. Pairs unknown, men did not know anything about the creation in pairs at the time of the descent of the Quran. Really? <laughs> well, look like the man he never saw. The man he never saw a female in the time of Muhammad. That is discovered only Muhammad time. Before Muhammad, nobody noticed that. Nobody noticed that there is a cat, male cat, and female cat. Nobody noticed that there is a male camel and female camel. Nobody noticed that. However, you see, this is the Muslim explanation. This is the Muslim explanation. I will teach you how to get the Muslim explanation busted immediately in a second. The question is, why the Muslim they choose for us this verse to talk about this thing only that's it this is the only verse in the Quran to speak about this I mean what happened to the rest of the verses there's many verses because if they quote for you other verses people will notice right away that Muhammadan are lying and what Allah is saying is a joke in chapter 51 verse number 49 The Quran says, and we created women kulli shay'in khalaqna zawjayna la'allakum tadkurun. From everything we created pairs as male and female, from everything. Not only what is in the earth, from everything. Everything Allah created. It doesn't matter what he created. And this is the Muslim translation, just to show you. I'm not making things up. This is Yusuf Ali. <clears throat> and of everything, we have created pairs. Everything. Okay. The Muslim, he will say to you, well, this is speaking about what is in the earth. But even that will not work. Because if we go in the Quran, we will find that the Quran claimed that Allah is the one who create the mule. Allah in chapter 16 verse number 
7 and 8 Allah is saying that he created for you animals and from those animals he created horses read with me horses mules and donkeys okay hold on the verse before it saying that Allah created from everything male and female and then Allah he said that he created for you the horses and the mules and the donkey now I want the one who made this article choose one of those as a title for him which one is you you are the horse or the mule or the donkey as I know the mules didn't have female have you ever heard of a mule female If there is any Muslim in the bushes, have you ever heard of a mule female? You must be a mule to believe that everything created in pairs. You see, you know, I can say that the Quran, you know, speaking in a metaphorical way and not in details, but the Muslim, they made it in details and they confirm that this is a true because the Quran said from everything we made the pairs, everything, male and female, everything, everything, you name it. And as you see, they are not taking what the Quran is saying metaphorically. Actually, the Quran is not saying anything metaphor metaphorically here because speaking about the creation of physically exist animals or cre uh, cre uh, no creatures the claiming that from everything there is male and female and this is absolutely false there's many animals they are neither male or female and actually sometimes the, 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 the same animal can turn into a, a female or to turn to be a male and that can be found in many uh, creatures especially in the in the sea including fish so this is a false you see, if the Quran was speaking about Adam and Eve and we said we made them in pairs, I understand, you know, a human being. But and uh, but to say everything, that is stupid and that is dumb. Now, as long as Allah, he created from everything pairs, Again, the Muslim, they will say to you, <clears throat> he is speaking about the earth because they will say, the verse before it, it says, and we have spread out the earth. By the way, here it says, Allah, he made the earth as a carpet. Allah, he made the earth flat, which is very stupid too, again. I mean, pfft. the earth is a flat. <clears throat> if we assume that this is for everything on the earth only not for things in the heaven so why the Quran saying and we and of everything we have created pairs if we assume the other verse is truth truly speaking about the earth only here is saying from everything we created he didn't say from what is in the earth we created only in the earth what is in pairs if we ask the muslims is the angels in islam created in pairs any muslim is the angels male and female if we go in the quran we will find <clears throat> something very important. Let us see. There is many verses in the Quran reject that Allah have daughters, and that because Allah is an Arab guy who don't like to have daughters. Chapter sixteen, verse number fifty-seven, as an example. But then we will find 
in chapter 37 verse number 149 Allah is upset because the Arab they like to have boys for their for them as sons and they are giving him daughters now ask them their opinion is that the Lord has only daughters and they have the sons <laughs> I mean, this God is complaining. How come you Arab, you 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 like to have sons, and you give me the daughters? Then we continue. In different verse. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? Do we have any Muslim would like to? Uh, would like to call us? Any Muslim, he you know he feel like he want to call us. Please feel free. You know. Uh, <clears throat> If we go in the Quran, we will find in a very important verse in chapter of An-Najm. Let us see. <clears throat> chapter 53, verse number 27, the Quran says that the kuffar, the bad ones, they claim that the angels are females. <clears throat> or let us say, some of the angels, there is angels who they are females. And you can read any translation you wish. Those who believe not in the hereafter, name the angels with female names, which means the Quran confirm that the angels are not male, not, not, not females for sure. So they have to be male. The angels, they are not females for sure. They have to be male. Only those who they are, kuffar, they will claim such a claim that there is an angel who they are females. Allah don't like that. But remember, Allah, he said, that supposedly he created from everything bears. Uh, uh, we have a we have a smart person. He said to me, "Let me show. Let me show you what he said." He said, uh, "Don't make yourself ridiculous." Mules are born male or female. They are only in infertile. Uh, in <laughs> don't don't text me. I don't like stupid talk. You, you know I don't know how 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 smart you are. I don't want to call you an idiot, because if you look in the front of you, it says that Allah created the mule, not the man. And he has horses. Has a created horses mules and donkey abdul are you stupid or what the quran saying that allah created them who are you to say not by god not by god the quran saying so and so why you are telling me don't be ridiculous you idiot i'm talking about the quran what's wrong with you are you a donkey Get out of here. Don't text me again. This is why we are mentioning it because this is what they are saying. We are mentioning this because this is stupid. Not because we agree with it. And you are saying to me, don't be ridiculous. Who is the ridiculous here? Allah claimed that he created from everything pairs. 
and he is the one who created the mule and the donkey and the horses so what my what's my problem i am the one being ridiculous or you are the one who drunk too many beers and come in here to de to, to discuss with me don't be ridiculous i am mentioning this because it's a stupid one side you say you created from everything bears male and female and then you said to me you created the mule the mule simply is nothing but a relationship a love story between a donkey and a horse <laughs> anyway people are weird and supposedly I am being ridiculous me for what why I am being ridiculous I am the one who said that now Allah created from everything in earth in pairs do you remember guys just two days ago we have a Abdul who he called me and I asked him about Muhammad the stones speak to him and the stones say to him assalamu alaikum do you remember who remember the stones the rocks they say to Muhammad assalamu alaikum so did Allah create from everything pairs because according to Muhammad the stones are living creatures and even they speak Arabic they even speak Arabic my friend they are Arab actually when I was in China I went to the forbidden city and when I was inside one of the rooms I because I use I hear voices like Muhammad you know the stones decide start saying to me ching chong he ho ha. and I speak Chinese very well and I got from what the, the stone saying to me please don't sit on me you are overweight it was the stone underneath of me what do you think Muslims did real Allah create from everything in pairs and you, you are making it as a miracle as scientific miracles okay hold on the Quran confirmed that everything created by Allah is male and female everything Let me see there's a Muslim trying to call no all right if we go to the Quran here let us check another verse In chapter 13, verse number 3, it says, وَهُوَ الَّذِي مَدَّ الْأَرْضَ وَجَعَلَ فِيهَا رَوَاسِي وَأَنْهَارَةِ وَمِنْ كُلِّ الثَّمَرَاتِ جَعَلَ فِيهَا زَوْجَيْنِ اثْنَيْنِ Okay, let us see what does that mean. Chapter 13, verse number 3, translation. And it is he who made the earth flat and set there in mountains standing firms because the Quran teach that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth which is very stupid and funny and the fruit of every kind he made in pairs so every fruits of every kind he made in pairs that's what is that two and two now we have bigger problem Let me tell you why the translator here, he write two and two. <laughs> you see, the Quran is for sure written by an idiot who don't speak good Arabic. 
Look what happened. I know most of you do not speak Arabic, but I will explain. The Quran says, جَعَلَ فِيهَا زوجين. If you go to the article written by the Muslim, they will say to you, زوجين mean, let us go back to the article. Here we go. You see what زوج mean? This is in the... And there's, you know, like, uh, I don't know how they are using Latin. Zavaj, Zavaj. What Zavaj? This is Zawj. I don't know how they write, how even write it. So Zawj mean pairs. Zawj mean pairs. Okay. Look how stupid the author of the Quran. He said, Zawjain. When you say Zawjain, it's not one pair. It became two pairs. <laughs> And then he confirms saying, and we made it from everything, Zawjain Ithnain, which means two pairs, two pairs. So that stupid translator, in order to solve this stupidity in the Quran, he come with the conclusion that Allah is saying he created everything two and two. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a God? Creating everything in two and two. What is that man for? <laughs> Did Allah create it to Adam and to Eve? Huh? Or did Allah create it to Adam plus two Adam plus two Eve plus two Eve? I mean, how in the world we can solve this problem, Muslims, two and two? Which two is first? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul wanna call me and get the prize of joining the Democratic Party? I was going to uh, Trump. He called me. He said, "Do you wanna be a judge in the Supreme Court, CP?" I said, "The the the the, the Democrat they will accuse me that I tried to rape Aisha in the time of Muhammad." <laughs> They will go back not only 36 years in time, they will go back a centuries. They will go back a thousand and four hundred years. I don't want to go there. Please, please, two and two is enough. Any Muslim here, he can give us an idea. How you Muslims you claim that Allah is accurate when he said he created everything in two and two? Is it two and two or it is two? Do you remember, guys? Do you remember when we ask Abdul how Allah he say in the Quran that the shaitan he have a children's anyone remember anyway the debates are there the Quran says that the bad ones, they will follow the shaitan and his offspring. Now, the Muslims have a problem here. Remember, Allah said that we created everything in earth in two. Okay. But this is stupid. Because first of all, Adam was not created in earth. And shaitan was not created in earth. And angels were not created in earth. Which means even what is created in earth is not exist. It is was in heaven. So when Allah, he speak everything we created in earth was in pairs and he speak about Adam and Eve. Did he forget that he did not create Adam and Eve in the earth? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Thank you, Earl. I, I like to sing to me myself, too. Trust me, I was taking a shower and I was singing. It was very beautiful. You know, thank God I have no neighbors. Zalamu, Zalamu, Imhamad Aini, Zalamu, Tarara, Zalamu. So, I'm going to quit my career and I switch to singing. Muslims, 
how Allah he say he created the male and the male and female in earth because he is speaking about Adam and Eve and he created them in earth when the Quran says in chapter 18 verse number 50 as an example that Allah created the shaitan and the angels and Adam and Eve in heaven so what do you mean we created everything in earth male and female and then you start speaking about Eve and Adam was Adam and Eve created on the earth? Hmm? Any Abdul? Anyone? Hello? Hello? Now, based on, you know, you see, if we go to different verse in the Quran, I don't know how many verses I need to show you. I mean, we are going to go all over. But what we can do, my brother? We have to go all over. The Quran is messed up. You cannot find things in one place. Like, if you, if you type the word Abraham, you will find his name in everywhere. It's not like the book of Genesis, you find the creation of God, or like you find it there. It's this book is messed up. It's like somebody he put a, a 3,000 pages and he put it in a mixer and he hit the mixer, and now only Allah knows where the words are going to stay. All right. So if we go in the Quran, <clears throat> what is the proof that Adam and Eve were created in heaven? Chapter 2, verse number 36. Islam so stupid. Da, 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 da. What the heck? Da, 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 da. I mean, what the heck is this? Those Muslims trying to convince us that Allah is speaking about what He created in earth in pairs, and yet Adam and Eve themselves, they are not created in the earth. What I wish you do, should do now, shoot myself. Join the Republican. Vote for Obama again. I never voted for him. Then, did Satan make them slip? I mean, the Satan, he slipped, guys. I told you, if you fell down because of a banana, you know, like somebody ate a banana and he threw the left of it, and you slip, this is Satan. So, Satan, he made them slip. From the garden, okay, where is the garden? Muslims, where is the garden? This garden we are talking about, where it is? Let us see. To prove to you, because some Abdul, they will say to you, the garden of Adam and Eve was an earth, brother. Only stupid like Zachary Naik will say that. Brother Titter, did the person, his name is the Christian Prince, and he always say things with it ridiculous. As an example, Christian Prince, he claimed that the Quran teeth that the heaven of God and the garden of Adam and Eve, it was in heaven. This is absolutely false. It was in the back of his backyard. Thank you very much. But hold on. In the chapter in the front of us, it says, after Adam and Eve, Allah, uh, Shaitan, he made them slip in the garden. Allah, he said to them, get down. Get down. Get down, get down, get down. Get down, get down. Okay, if they are in earth, they are going to get down where? Any Abdul. If they are already down, they are going to get down where? Hello? Hello? I love you, love you, love you. I love you, Abdul. So they are in the earth, and the garden is in the earth. But Allah is saying to them, get down. What is that? The basement? Hello? Unbelievable. 
and to make it more stupid, I don't want to forget to re to remind you that Allah He kicked the shaitan out of heaven, but yet the shaitan he was able to come back. <laughs> Ah, you see here. <coughs> Shaitan was kicked out of heaven by Allah. He refused to bow down to Adam. You see, one of the funny, stupid things in Islam, they say to you, we Muslim, we bow down only to God. For God taught us to bow only to God. That's a lie. That is a lie. Satan himself, uh, I mean the Mr. Islamic Satan, he himself is disobeyed God of Islam because Allah He ordered him to bow down to Adam, which is very stupid. And this is a contradictory of what the Muslim they teach us that in Islam we only bow down to God, not to a man. Here we go, angels of God bowing down to the man. Hello. Any Abdul, <clears throat> why the angels they bow down to Adam? Any Muslim? I don't know. Today I feel like singing. Do you love me? Do you? Do you? I'm singing to the Muslims. Do you hate me? Do you? Do you? Do do you do do you do do you do you do call me now before it's too late? Any Muslim? Who is the Muslim is willing to call us and tell us what's wrong with this religion? So now we have a God. He claimed that he created everything in earth in pairs, and he mentioned Adam and Eve, but Adam and Eve are created in heaven. Which is a contradictory and a stupid mistake from the author of the Quran. Now, Allah created everything on earth in pairs. But the Quran said that we created it from every or every living thing from water. Every living thing <clears throat> Allah created from the water. Okay. Oh, where is the verse? Come on. Hmm. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? And read for us the following verse in the front of us. Then Abdul. Wajalna min al ma'i kulla shay in hai. Afala yu minu. Chapter 21, verse number 30. And we created it from everything. Everything we created is from water. Oh boy. Any Muslim want to tell us what's happening here? I'm going to read from the beginning, but this is the verse I'm focusing in. But we can, you know, if a Muslim want to call us, he can call. We can read for you 10 verses before and 10 verses after. Don't worry. So you will not say we are taking things out of context, right? Don't the believers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? And by the way, the Muslim, they say, Islam is in total agreement with the Big Bang Theory. Brother Tatar, in science, they say, and they teach it called the Big Bang Theory. And if you do not know, the fact that Big Bang Theory is mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago, and that can be found in the verse number 13 in front of your eye. Thank you very much. The Big Bang Theory is in the Quran? 
Yes, brother, it's in the front of you. Search this verse, you will find every Muslim in the world is speaking about the Big Bang Theory. It's in the Quran. I'm serious. But this is this is not the big big bang theory teach. The big bang theory teach that nothing explode. Mr. Nothing explode. <laughs> Which is very stupid. Because how nothing explode? <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Guys, they called me from the bank and they told me that your bank bank account explode. I said, How come? It's empty. There's nothing. They said, Yes, nothing explode. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now, what the verse here is saying, just to ref to refute the, the two claims at the same time. When the when the Quran says the unbelievers, don't the unbelievers see that the heaven and the earth were joined together? Okay. Here you notice that the Quran is speaking about something we can see. Do you notice, guys? This is why, you know, when I read, people don't see what I see. I don't know why. I mean, I have no idea why. It says there, don't they see? So it is something you see. Now, that the Big Bang, nobody saw, and nobody will see. And it's nothing but a theory. It's not even a fact. But here it's speaking about something they saw. Don't you see? Don't the believers see? Which means they saw and they still see it now, every day. Guys, do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? It is something they see now. Don't they see? This is can't be the big bang Muslim liars. What the Quran is saying, claiming a stupid teaching that the heaven and the earth are connected but Allah he lifted up the heaven from the earth and they are separated but this is absolutely false this is absolutely false oh we have the guy yesterday the one with the t-shirt yesterday when I call well you can call it but uh, don't change the topic please I want to call, but you won't let me. You are afraid. Ah, okay. Let me call mom. I'm killing you now. <clears throat> Answer, Abdul. What's wrong with you? You told me you want to talk, and now I'm calling you. Aren't answering. Hello. Are you going to answer or not? Okay, go home. Next time, let your daddy call me. Look at this. So the Quran, get the Muslim busted in second. This is something the believers should see. It is something you will not discover. You can see right away. That the heaven and the earth were joined together as the, the between two bracket, which means this is additional to translation, but no problem, as one unit of a creation before we clove them asunder. Okay, so what the Quran here is saying that there is heaven and there is earth exist in the same time together, but Allah He just separate them, not the Big Bang. The Big Bang say there was nothing. So you see how they lie and they say this is the Big Bang. It is something first of all, first of all something they see not they will see in the future don't the unbelievers see in the time of Muhammad 1400 years ago that the heaven and the earth were what joined together and then Allah he clove them asunder and that is a clear proof that Islam is a false religion because what the Quran is claiming is the following let me open uh, <clears throat> a Google Earth because I need it now. I need it. All right.
All right, this is Google Earth. Let us see together. The author of the Quran, because he is ignorant, he is assuming or he is confirming that the heaven and the earth are separated. Is that true? Who here agreed that they are separated? Who agreed with the Quran? Who agreed that we are separated? Truly separated? Are we really separated? I'm waiting. I don't know, maybe uh, there is a delay in my voice. Who agree that the, 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 the earth is separated from the space? Because what the Muslim, Islam says, heaven, it's mean the sky. Are we really separated? Or we are inside the space? What do you think? Look like nobody care. Nobody is saying anything. Guys, do you hear me? Why nobody is responding? How we can be separated? We are just a little tiny dust inside the universe. This Abdul is texting me, but he don't want to answer. Want to answer or not? If you don't answer, I'm going to block you forever. You stupid. So why you text me saying you want to call me? And you don't want to answer? Go. I will block you. I have no time for kids. What the Quran is saying that the earth and the heaven they used to be joined together and he separated them, explains something stupid before people they used to believe in it the Quran teach just to make it clear and I will show you all the reference you need to, to see that the earth is flat this is the earth and then here we have the cloud let us make it with different color uh, We need to draw. Let us see. So this is the this is the heaven, the cloud in the top of us. So the earth and the heaven they used to be one unit, but Allah He separated them, and we are separated. If you remember, Muhammad and the Quran says that he asked one of his followers, "Do you know where the sun goes? Do you know where the sun goes?" The guy, he says, Allah and his apostle know best. Muhammad, he said, the sun goes every day from the east to the west and jump in the water. Here there's water. Dirty water. And in the morning, it asks Allah for permission to come back again. So Muhammad claimed that the earth, or the 24 hours we witness, the day and the night, happened because the sun goes every day from point A to point B. And then in point B, and the Quran confirmed that, the sun set in a murky water, and then the sun asks Allah for permission, and it goes back where it's coming from, which means the east again. Now, when Allah He said, supposedly, Akka Muhammad, Allah He separated between the earth and the heaven, and they used to be united. First of all, this is a very bad mistake because we are still not only united, we are inside, we are just a tiny, tiny dust inside the space. And there's no way we can be separated. If a Muslim will say, well, no, maybe the Quran is saying that this is about the atmosphere. If this is about the atmosphere, so why you are lying and you have tons of articles saying this is about the Big Bang?
Correct? Because there's a huge difference between speaking about the Big Bang and the atmosphere. So it is the atmosphere when they want, it is the Big Bang when they want. For they are hypocrite liars. Look like we have a Muslim. Let us see. He's saying, Do you like to debate me? I don't know. Afraid. What if you know a lot? Let us call this guy. They want to debate me, but they don't answer. I don't know what to do. Should I chase them? What I will do? Do you want to debate me? I'm here. I mean, what do you think? Call me. My friend, call me. All right. Anyway. To explain what Allah He said by the earth and the heaven were separated. By the way, we are not changing the topic. By the way, we are we, but because they are connected. You know, we are talking about science and etc. To to make it clear how Allah He says the earth is disconnected from the sky. If you go to the different verse in the Quran, you will see the Quran saying the following. Switch to Arabic. The verses in the front of us <clears throat> uh, let us take this one. 21 verse number 32. Actually, yeah, let's go this one first. 2132, it says, Allah, he made the sky protected roof. You see here as Kenobi, well guarded. To make it simple translation, Allah saying supposedly, and we made the sky as a protected roof. The Muslim, they say to you, this verse speak about uh the atmosphere, the science, protected roof. My friend, the sky is a protected, not the earth. The sky is a protected. To understand this, we have to go to different verse on the Quran and see how funny it is. <clears throat> the Quran teach the Muslims that Allah, he created the lamps, which is the stars, and he created them for two reasons. Anyone remember the reasons? What is the reasons Allah created the stars for? Anyone knows? What is the reason Allah created the stars for? Somebody, he said three. Maybe I would agree with him, but we need to count them first. Number one, to shoot the devil in his ass. That's good. Number two. Number two. As a decoration. Number three. Maybe number three is going to be hard to guide mankind for direction. This is what the Quran says. Allah created the stars for three reasons to shoot the devil in his ass. If he tried to leave the earth, the number two reason as a decoration, number three reason 
to guide you know to guide mankind like you want to travel in the desert how you go you go by the by the stars now for sure all those stupid reasons are not true because when the Quran says we created the stars as decoration look what the Quran added after that in Arabic it says وَلَقَدْ زَيَنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا A dunya, it is the lowest sky. Which means only in the lowest sky, there is a stars. You see, the Muslim, they say to you, the other verse is speaking the, the, uh, about the atmosphere. But the Quran confirmed there is seven skies. And the lowest one is this one, whereas the stars is. So that cannot be the atmosphere. Sorry, Muslims. Try something else. And the Quran claim that Allah created those stars as decoration we are we adorn the lowest heaven with lamps so it is a decoration and we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the evil one I mean that's really something that is truly truly something why the stars are created first they are located in the lowest heaven this is number one number two Allah will shoot the ass of any devil he try to leave earth I mean obviously this is science hello hello yes you are live with us on air who is talking hello yes I hear you okay um, one second sorry it's all right you have a zoo behind you don't go man Sorry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just uh, trying to, because there's a lot of noise. I'm trying to find a place quiet. It's all right. Like maybe place. if you close the room door, maybe if you close the door. <coughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. One second. Let us hope that uh, things will work fine with him. All right, well, until he come back, we continue. Hello? Yes. Um, is it okay if you if I call you back in just two seconds because I'm trying to turn something on? No problem, no problem. Go ahead. So the Quran confirmed that Allah he should drive away the devil who tried to go out to the sky. It's not the earth who's protected. This is what it's called the Star War program of George Bush. George Bush he wanted to establish a Star War system to attack any devil coming from Iran or etc. Al Qaeda. Hello? Okay, hello. So now we can talk. Sorry. No problem. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Salah? Um, well, I wanted to uh first of all like are you like on a uh like are you making a video right now or something? First yes, of all? I'm live on air, live on air. People they are hearing you. Oh, 
Oh, I, yeah. So like, I basically don't know what, what the topic is, but I wanted to bring forth a topic. Is that fine? Well, we are talking about that Allah, he said he created from everything, from ev like everything, male and female. And uh, the, the science and the Quran, the Muslim, they claim there is science and the Quran. What do you think? This is our topic today. Yeah. Do you like it? Well, I mean, do you really believe the Quran I mean, talk about science? Um, for me, like the Quran is not really a book of, I wouldn't say it's a book of science because, um, like for me, it's a book of guidance. It's not really no a book problem, of science. But do, you, do you agree with the Muslims when they say there is science in the Quran or you don't agree? Uh, they could have, they could have their, their understanding, you know, like that's, that's not really a you problem. Give me an answer. Me. You see, I like you to give me like, an answer. Do you, example, do you agree? Do you agree that the Quran have science or you don't agree? Either you say yes, I agree. Or you say I don't. Um, I would uh, I would agree that the Quran is consistent with with. Can science. you give me an example of your choice? Um, to be honest, any example, any example of your choice, for free. I'm not I'm not going to pick up one for you and say okay, let's talk about this one. Give me one as an example. <clears throat> okay, so how about we start with chapter fifty one? What about? But it? again, I want to, I want to, I want to, um, I want to like say something because I, I came here to, to, to talk about another topic. So my, my I, friend, I my friend, let us finish this one, and then I, I can. Okay, we will give you time. We are here. Well, I'm here. You are here. We, we are not going anywhere. Give me a first example about the science and the whole, the one of your choice. Which one? Okay. Uh, so like in chapter fifty one, the Quran says, um. What's hmm. what Okay. Okay. So basically, um, according to Albert Einstein, space is the hmm. like there's something called the uh it's called the fabric of space and time, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's a fabric and like I don't know if you're aware of, of this uh of of what Albert Einstein was um hmm. Like thing, but basically, was samai that al hubuk? It's interpreted as pathways in space. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, it's interpreted as it could be like a fabric, mm -hmm. which is consistent with with, for example, what I said. Einstein, Albert Einstein is saying. Okay, this is the interpretation of who the one you are giving me as a fabric, um, etc. Oh, for example, for example, you have. <laughs> Uh, Abdul Abdul Halim, uh, he translated it as pathway. Abdul Halim. But then you who have Abdul Halim? Abbas. Give me, give uh, me a you, scholar. Give me, a, give me a name of a scholar. Who is the one who said it's uh, like a fabric? Uh, like a fabric? Oh, that would be Ibn Abbas. If you go and read the interpretation of Ibn Abbas, mm -hmm. I'm sure you know who Ibn Abbas is, right? Sure, I know. Yeah. He gives several different meanings to it. He gives mm. meaning like it's uh, mm. it's like ha the hair. Um, he gives uh, another one as like the fabric of, of um, uh, the you know the dira. I don't know how to say it in mm -hmm. like the armor. Well, I don't know if you can you see know, the screen in front of me. Do you see the screen? Uh, I don't have access to it. I'm actually on my phone. Okay, if you read how, with me, in, if you, you know if, if you read with me in the screen, it says, "وفسر وفسر الحب بإتقان الخلق روي عن ابن عباس وإكرمة وقتادة." This is what Ibn Abbas said. Oh, uh, but uh, so are you reading from a different scholar who's quoting Ibn Abbas? Yes. Shouldn't they quote okay, I, I mean, do Ibn but, Abbas have many, uh, like this guy, he's, he's, yeah. he's say things that contradict himself or what? No, no, no. I, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, yeah. like, if you want to go, if I'm talking, if, if I'm telling you about Ibn Abbas, then hmm. uh, you should probably just go to Ibn Abbas. Just because, like, okay, a scholar might quote Ibn Abbas, right? But they don't usually quote everything that Ibn Abbas says. So just go to Ibn Abbas. You can go to a website called uh, tafsir.com. Okay. So go to go to tafsir.com. Oh, no problem. Hold on. Let me go there. Hold on. Give me a second. And actually, we have okay. it in English, so we can read to the gather in English. No problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. It's one of the translated. I'm actually going to go to the page as well. Right. <coughs> I 
and this is chapter 51 verse number seven just to confirm yes okay so obviously ibn abbas uh has like he has several different interpretations right so hmm. um i mean a muslim could say well according to this interpretation it's consistent with science okay. and it what, may what have is a, what is the science about this read with me this is Abbas. and okay. by the heaven um, with its tracks hubuk is the portal of hibaka similar in pattern and meaning to toruk tariq bath uh, what muhammad yeah, saying and the sky with, with the sky which have roads sky have roads what does that mean that is scientifically correct or this is scientifically false i'm trying to show i'm trying to find the tafsir one sec hmm. <clears throat> let me go to ibn abbas this is a jalalin actually and this is ibn abbas in english by the oh, heaven okay. full of paths this is another oath allah swear by seemly and a beautiful heaven and has baths and it's also said that it's full of baths mean it has a stars the sun and the moon and it's also said that full baths mean full of waves like those water upon being hit by the wind or like the waves and of sand upon being blown by the wind or like waves of curly hair or waves of our armor made of iron and it is also said this is refers to the seven heaven by which allah has a sworn so now this is ibn abbas and he gave us tons of meaning and none of them match the other which one it will take i mean what how how you are a scholar and you say it's also said it's also said it's also said so now which one is done of them is the mean of allah which one of them you well, choose all well we don't we don't uh we don't know what um okay so like but the, how then means. if you do not know the mean how this is make, became a miracle for you if you are not sure well, of the meaning i, mean, the, I you... never no no okay give me a chance to to explain yeah. um i didn't i did not uh, state that it was it was a miracle i'm saying that it's a possibility that you could interpret it as a miracle because for example ibn abbas said something in one of his interpretations it's consistent with science that's all i said i which never one, which is the one I, is consistent I never of science? That, which, which one of I, I, which one of those i know my friend Zalai, which one of those is consistent with science the, the ones in the front well, of us which one I'll, I'll read it to you okay so for example he said it's like the uh, it's like the fabric of, of iron well none of them it says like the fabric of iron it says waves well, waves like waves wave, okay okay waves okay, of waves armor of, made of iron of armor made of iron okay, okay. so hmm. or like curly hair for example okay no problem curly hair okay is okay that, is, or that, like, is, yeah, that, is that is that accurate both of these both of these they they kind of like it, it's vague it's i agree with you it's vague but you have to understand like you some people might get the idea that mm. it's talking about this the fabric of space and time my, my friend let me let me make it simple for you in here it says that the heaven full of paths do you agree with that uh the he heaven is full of pathways yeah uh well again he gave he gave interpretation this is the the word hubuk, okay. right and he how gave how you how your prophet okay, went to okay. the seven if, how your prophet no, 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 went listen, to the seven heaven no no listen, listen did he listen, went listen, did he went in the does, top of a no 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 but if it does have year? if it does have pathways yeah if it does have pathways how would you understand that because even that the word pathways could be subject to interpretation if you want to insist that it's a uh if you want to insist something about it so i would like you to tell me uh what it is the pathway which Muhammad speak about is explained the Quran when Allah he sent the two angels Harut and Marut he sent them in the pathway which is called the the, the Babylon, Babylon Tower if we go in the Quran we will find the following and you see I, I'm showing you what the Quran is saying not what not what I am saying so you don't say okay. I'm making things up if we go in the Quran we will see the Quran say the which following verse? Go uh, go to chapter two, verse one o two. Chapter two, verse one o two. Verse one o two. Yes. Allah He okay, sent so. the Allah of His one of His baths to earth between uh, between heaven and earth is the Babylon Tower. When Allah He sent 
the two angels Harut and Marut to open a school to teach magician how to do magic so they can the husband and the wife they fight Allah he sent them to the first airport is known for the mankind after actually the second airport which is in Sri Lanka as you know Allah he sent Adam first time to Sri Lanka then Allah he sent down the angels to Mecca and then Allah he sent down Harut and Marut in the Babylon Tower and then Allah okay. he sent down I, his, first of all I want to know who you're quoting I'm quoting the Quran uh, which because uh, I'm reading verse uh, chapter 2 verse 180 uh, verse 102 yes okay don't and it's, this is what it says and and uh, so it says um, okay let me just go so you you're just you're just quoting chapter 2 verse 102 right mm -hmm. okay so this is what it says and followed what the evil ones had fabricated about the kingdom of Solomon instead not not that Solomon himself was a disbeliever it was the evil ones who were disbelievers they taught people witchcraft and what was revealed in Babylon to the two angels Harut and Marut yet those two never taught anyone without first warning them warning him we are sent only to attempt to tempt do not disbelieve from these okay once uh, from these two they learned what can cause discord between man and wife although they they harm no one with with it except by god's leave they learned what what harmed them not what benefited them knowing full knowing f full well that whoever gained uh this knowledge would well it doesn't say this knowledge but that's it's no, part of the no, no. where is the angel Which Harut and Marut? Any share in the hereafter my friend, evil in you pass the topic is, you pass the topic so uh, my basically, topic is babylon no, no. babylon yeah, basically there's no pathways here so i don't know what you're talking about you're just making the angels they came down in the ba babylon is that true okay the, they came down but where does it say what is the babylon is what is the babylon Babylon is a place on earth, but it's saying where, where that is, it came what is that? Down. What is what is no, that? No, no. Babylon? Look, 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 listen to me. If it says what Sama'i that al Hubuk, okay, and it's saying it's talking about pathways in the sky, yeah, then or in space, okay, and in here it says they came down into Babylon. Uh where does where in that is does it say path like pathways? My friend, it's very well known. Yeah. What is the, the the most well known about the Babylon? What do you know about the Babylon? The Babylon Tower. What is the Babylon Tower? It's the path way to go to God. It is the path way to go to God. Where does it mention the Babylon Tower? It's in the front of you. The Babylon. They came down in the Babylon. Where they came down? No, no but you're adding tower to it. You're friend, adding tower to it. No, okay, where they came premise. down? Where they came down? Let us. Let us. I will not add anything. They, they came, came down, down in, in the Babylon. Babylon. They, they came, came down, down where? No, no, no. They came down in Babylon. It doesn't state an exact location. Okay, my friend. My friend. They came down where? According to the interpretation, you know, where? Choose for no, me. They, choose for me. Came, uh, no problem. Choose for Habibi, me. Interpretation. Habibi, listen, choose for Habibi. me. Choose for Habibi, me. Interpretation. Habibi, Habibi yeah, listen yeah, to me. Habibi. Choose for it me. Said, interpretation. If you're choice. It says Which they, one? they came down into Babylon. So now you're. So now you're saying you're reading an interpretation. You're actually reading the verse. My friend, not, doesn't matter. I'm saying to you, which interpretation you like to read it from. This is what I'm saying. Because you are saying this well, is not the you Babylon Tower. To, you said okay. I'm reading. They came said, down in the Babylon for what reason? What is what is no, no, what is listen. what is the unique about the Babylon? Why the Babylon? Where they came down? What is there? Uh, well, uh, that's that's the place that God chose. Uh, I mean, what like should we, what he why, why did, he chose to why send did, his why angels did, in why the did, Babylon? Why did God? What about, listen, listen. Why no, he did listen, not send them in Mecca? What about no, Mecca? Listen. Listen to me, Habibi. Listen mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. Why did God specifically send the Torah on on a certain mountain? Why? We don't know why God chooses his locations. It's not about choosing his location, to, my friend. The guy he lived there. The guy he lived there. The guy he lived there. But Harut and Marut, Harut and Marut, they don't live in Earth. Um, Harut and Marut are not a human. They are angels. They are sent down to the earth. Yeah, I know that. Okay, I know that. Allah, they're, they're, Allah sent Allah Harut and Marut them, to who? Down, yeah. Allah did not send them to a specific person. So why he choose Babel? Okay, well, because this again, is a bath. I'm this is a pathway. Say, okay, hold on, hold on. Another pathway. Say, another pathway. Say, another well, pathway. Another pathway. Muhammad he went to the seven heaven, in the top of a flying mule, and then in the way he found doors. And the doors have guards. Do you agree with the story? Uh, that he found doors in space. Yes. 
I mean, it depends on how you how you interpret doors. My friend, each time I say something to you, you say it depend. It depend on you. Tell me how do you how you enter. He said door. Even they ask him, what's your name? What do you want to do here? So doors are doors. There's guards. Well, is it possible? I mean, okay, listen. Is it possible that we are not able to see um, what? Is it possible that we are not able to see another? Is there like another realm that we're not able to see? My friend, it's not about it's possible. We go by what your prophet said. Don't tell me your prophet do not know what he's talking you're, about. But you're, you're, you're prophet, adding the possibility. You're a prophet. No, 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 you're a prophet. Listen, described, you're, you're, you're a prophet. No, no, described, hey, 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 did, hey, listen, did your listen prophet describe his path to heaven? Did he or he did not? Uh, he Yeah, he went on a path to heaven. Okay. Yeah. But did he describe his path to heaven? How he went? Did he describe that? He he described uh, um, he. What do you mean by describe the path? Did he describe his way? What happened in the story? He have a story. Did he tell in the story well, what happened in the way? He went on a path through space. Okay, according mm. to that, he went on a path to th oh, right. through space. And what happened? And in eventually the he reached. Mm. Eventually he reached a door. Okay, as how, you as how you many just doors? Said. How many doors? It doesn't matter. Okay, I, how many doors does it say? What do you mean? Doesn't matter. It, no, it no says, it, how many doors does it say? You tell me the how many doors. As I know, there are seven doors. Seven doors. Mm -hmm. So he, you're uh, like Let the way you're. Let us read together, so we can understand what the Quran is saying. Because the best to explain the Quran, and I think you agree, is Muhammad, not you, not me. I was near the house of Ie Al Kaaba, in the state between asleep and uh, you know, like he is half asleep, half awake. I heard someone say, "He is the third among two person." He then they, he came to me and took me with him. Then a golden basin containing water of Zamzam was brought to me, and my heart was open. And to such and such part, they open his actually in Arabic it says from here to here, which means from his throat to down to his balls. And they cut his throat, they cut his belly, and they wash his belly, and they install inside a dish of wisdom and dish of uh, uh, faith. But this is not my problem okay. now. Let us continue. Then he yeah. continues saying. I was then brought a white beast, which is called al Burak, bigger than a donkey and smaller than a mule. Its trade was as long as I could reach. I was mounted in it and then went forth till we reached the lowest heaven. Here we go. This is the first path. He, Muhammad, he took a donkey and now he reached the lowest heaven, taking a path. Okay. Jibreel asked for the gate to be open. So there is a gate. Okay, so the path is separate. Listen, the path is when I'm going on a on a if I'm going from a from a from a city to another city, okay? The pathway is is separate from the city. To get to the to get to the city it's separate. So what I'm saying is, okay, he went on a pathway, but we don't know what the pathway is as you you and you said that he described the pathway. No, he could have described the end of the pathway, My which friend, is reaching hold on, a hold door. Hold on, hold on, hold on, and hold on. Hold listen, on. listen, 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 listen. Is listen. that a donkey or is this an airplane? The one he took. Is it a donkey or an airplane? It doesn't matter. No, no, it we need to matter. know how he traveled. Why, why how matter? he traveled? Did he take a road or he fly? No, I, I'm giving you an analogy. Do you not understand? No, no, don't give me an analogy. You, you see, like, I have a story in the front of me. This is what is important. Your prophet. No, no, no. Now. Show respect. Show <laughs> respect to your so prophet's funny, story. Dude. Listen, listen to me. When you're a prophet, he it, took a donkey. I'm how he, how he reached heaven here, with a donkey? Explain to me how he reached heaven with a donkey. He went. Okay, he went on a again. He went on a pathway. What is the pathway? He went on the Which donkey can take? Is not described. Which is a pathway? Maybe Which is a pathway? The, the, there a donkey, is a door. My Listen, friend, there is a, this is not an airplane. Door. This is not an airplane. This is a donkey. What is the pathway a donkey will take to go to heaven? Uh, he goes. I don't know. He goes straight up. I guess I don't know. Straight up where? I mean, it's a donkey. Well, it's. Okay, it's a uh, the animal is described as something that is supernatural. It's capable of, capable of, of going to, to space. Where where is speak about space here? Do you see space? Well, I mean, it's it's going to the sky, so we're assuming that it's go traveling through hold space. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said I went to the lowest heaven, right? But still, he is riding a donkey. A donkey. He has four legs. 
Okay, but the Burak is described as an animal that is capable of doing that. What do you mean by he capable? Said, how how, donkey. how his don donkey. how his uh, are you saying Look, to why me? Why are you changing the topic? I'm not changing man. the topic. We're trying to find topic. what the bath is, my friend. We're not changing the topic. We have you're, a donkey okay, now. You're, how you're the donkey? Why you are trying to avoid? Why you are trying to avoid how the donkey went to heaven? How the donkey went to heaven? No, no. Listen, you're 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 basically just like you're. You're arguing about what what animal Muhammad went on to heaven. It no, no, no. Matter. This is not my uh, no, 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 no. no. This is not is my argument. Animal. This is not my argument. I want to know what road they took because this is an animal, and the one who described so him. Then why a, are you the, asking? The, the so one who described him, my friend, question, my friend, the one who described him. Why are you asking him, the Europe, question? How can a donkey go? Uh, Go to the you, sky. We want to know, know what kind of road it is. The road, the road. We were discussing that the bath, what bath he took. So how the donkey we was able to go. Is. Okay, we right. have a donkey. We have a prophet, and now he is going okay. to heaven. And the heaven have doors. Are they those it's doors? Not a donkey, are, by are, the way. are those it's doors? Not a donkey. It's, it's bigger than a donkey, my friend. He said it's a bigger of a donkey, which means like it's a mule. What do you mean it's not a donkey? Okay, well, <laughs> the thing is, we don't know exactly what animal what animal is. It's described. Friend, it's a supernatural look what he says. No, what support? What support? He said. He said. Al Burak. Al Burak is bigger. Is bigger than a donkey. Smaller than a mule. Okay. Okay. So it's a small animal. It's a small animal. Okay. It's a small animal. It's a small animal. Have four legs. It's a small animal. Have four legs. And he is he is the one who described him between the size of a mule and donkey, which means he look exactly the same, but the size is bigger a little bit than a donkey, smaller a little bit than a mule. That's wonderful. Now he is going to heaven. What path is going a donkey is going to take to go to heaven? Um, I don't know. He's going like what do you mean by that question? Basically, I mean if I ride a donkey right now. I am going to take a sand road or, I, I, you know, I'm going to take a normal way, which donkey can use his feet in it. What do you mean? Like, I, I don't understand My what friend, you're saying. My friend, it's a donkey. It's a donkey. Okay, it's a, no, no, okay. but I, I explained to you that this is, why are you not understanding? I'm explaining to you that this is a supernatural animal and it's capable to it's travel It's a male or a female. This animal is male or female. This space. What? This is male or female. Why does that matter? So how you know it's an animal? Like why are you? How you know? You how you know it's an animal? How you know? Listen, how you know it's an animal? How you know it's an animal? You just said to me the word animal. How you know it's an animal? It doesn't. Okay, I don't know. It's an animal. Okay, I'm no, just, you said I'm you said saying, a second ago you said it's supernatural power, and then you said an animal. How an animal has I a supernatural it's, power? Okay, I said it's. I, I said it's a supernatural animal, like it's supernatural a, it's a animal. Supernatural what does that creature. mean? Okay, it's a supernatural what, creation. What does that mean? God. Supernatural what animal. Is, what does that, that matter? mean? What, what explain matter? to me? What does that we, mean? Listen, still he is want, a donkey. He is going to carry path, Muhammad please. in his back. We're not talking about the animal. We are talking about the animal. We are talking about the road. We are talking about your prophet. He went to heaven. How he went to heaven? He used an animal. If the heaven, if the heaven, if the heaven, as the scientists they said, if the heaven, as the scientists they said. How you go, how you go. You see, you are the Muslims who is making this as a science, not me. So now we have a donkey, we have a prophet, and Muhammad is going to go in the space. As you know, the second you leave the space of the earth, you, there's no oxygen. Secondly, First, Muhammad will freeze to death. Claimed that this is a scientific, uh, that Muhammad traveling on. My on, friend, uh, you are the one who said that verse is speaking about science. You are the one who said that this is what science is speaking. It's in I the said, Quran. And now Muhammad, the story. The okay. story of Muhammad going in heaven is it in the Quran too, or it's in the Hadith only? It's in the Quran. Okay. But, so you cannot uh, you cannot pick up your cherries all, and say, me, "I want to talk me, about me, this one." I don't want to talk about this one. Bit. So, so Muhammad, Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven, me, passing to from me. place to place. And look, hold on, hold on. When Muhammad he arrived, he found a door in the lowest heaven. Okay, but again. You're, what does that let, mean? Let no, me, no, no, don't tell me again. Me, explain to oh me, my. explain to me what is the door in the lowest heaven is doing? Okay, let, let me just backtrack a little bit and then we'll get to it. I already I already told you that before, but let me let's get to that. So, first of all, let, let's backtrack to where we were. So, I, I, you asked me where is a verse in the Quran that might uh, have science in it? I said. In, for example, 51, I agree that it, it's consistent with science. I never claimed that it is uh, it is scientific. I even admitted that there are different interpretations, and I, I suggested you go to Ibn Abbas, okay? Then I suggested the part, the interpretation part, that 
it suggests that it's consistent with science that that space and time that there's a fabric in space mm -hmm. um is is in part of the interpretation of Ibn Abbas for example him describing it as the armor of iron or like the hair the curly hair okay mm. the it's vague again it's vague as i said before but i suggested that it could be consistent with science then you you were saying uh about, about the pathways right i said even if we took it as pathways how would you interpret that so then you went to the hadith about uh, first of all you went to the chapter 2 verse 102 mm -hmm. and then you were saying that harut and marut took a pathway in that verse but it never actually says it in the verse and then you were embarrassed by that so that you went to another example uh, from the hadith and now you're you were arguing about what animal it was or things like that but the point is, is that muhammad took uh, went on a creature uh uh, my friend, when the one who is embarrassed by that is you. Harut and Marut is coming in the baby lawn to which there is, if there, if there, there is an the airport first. there, is there an airport there, there is a tower, there is a tower, is very famous that somebody decided to go to God using that tower. It's called the Tower of God. So you're a prophet. He is consistent with the legions of stories speaking about God sending angels to that tower. This is how he communicates with it the people. So you God, listen, my friend, tower. otherwise you need to tell me what the Babylon have to do with, with, with your God. What, your, no, no, but what is the Babylon? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold where on. Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you how stupid this story anyway. Because based on this story, the first time people, they start practicing magic, it was in the time the, the Babylon tower is built or the Babylon exists. Okay, you, do you so agree? your entire premise is, but this is, is false. From the tower, but this is false, my power? friend. This is your. This is where false, is my friend. Well, this is false. This is false. Magic, magic, sorcery is a practice long no, no, before that. To, Even your, your Quran speak your about the Pharaoh and the magic. The How the, the magic verse. first time arrived to the earth by the Harut and Marut, and then he speak about the Pharaoh. Isn't the Pharaoh do sorcery too? Which magician came first? Again, which, one, which magician came first according to the Quran? The Harut and Marut in Babylon or the magician of the Pharaoh? Um, first of all, uh, I don't want to I don't want to change topics. We are not so changing topic. Could, so listen, no, no, listen, 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 listen. Topics, listen again, look, what did, look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. Look what you did. I ask I you to show me. I ask you to show me one example of science in the Quran. You say to me. You say to me. Maybe this is one can be. Maybe have you ever heard of such a hypocrisy like this? Saying maybe. Since when science goes by maybe, either you say this is about science or you say it is not about science. So you, when you say maybe, it is now have to be science. Don't say maybe. There's no maybe. You asked me a question. You asked me a question. I asked you a question not to give me maybe. I asked you a question and in order to protect yourself from the humiliation, you said maybe. So it's a backup. It's a backup plan, my friend. I said to you maybe. I did not say it is a true. I am not asking you about something maybe. So can you give me something truly fit with science? Either you say nothing in the Quran fit with science, or don't mention to me maybe. So I let us, say, let us listen, go back I to zero. Let's go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Give me one thing in the Quran fit with science. Either you say there's nothing in the Quran fit with science. So or now you're you say, running away from the topic. So I'm not. I'm not. The I am not. You are the one is running away no, from the topic. You are running away. You are hiding behind all, maybe. I'm, I'm, you keep I'm repeating saying to me. Where does it say tower? Where does it say tower? Right. Where does it say tower in chapter two, verse 102? Okay. Okay. If, if, and listen, you're listen, not listen. That to me. You listen, made listen. 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 Okay. Hold on. 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 I want you to give me interpretation you accept for the story of the of the Babylon. Uh you first of all you um which you, which interpretation what, you like? I mean we like interpretation is if you go to like a interpretation of like Ibn Kathir or like Which one um, you like? Don't tell me if you go. Ibn tell me Abbas which one you like. like. Tell me which one you like. Make it short and firm. Which one you like? Okay. Go to Ibn Abbas, but even or go to Ibn Abbas or Ibn Kathir, okay? Mm. First, go to Ibn Abbas. Okay, let's okay? go to Ibn Abbas. But even on. if it mentions tower. Even if okay, mentions even tower, if, so? Even if it mentions tower, this is, uh, it's an assumption from, from, the, from uh -huh. the scholar. That so if Ibn Abbas, he made that, it's an assumption. If I say that, oh, I'm a liar. Go to Ibn Abbas. I've never actually looked no, at no, the No, 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 look, 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 look at the hypocrisy. Just to back up himself now again, he starts saying, no. if, it, if Ibn Abbas said that is an assumption, 
if a Christian prince says that he's a liar, so a Christian prince is not allowed to make no. assumption. <laughs> I, you are claimed that it's in the it's in the verse itself. That's why I call Abdul, you a liar. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. I did not say. I didn't say in the verse it says that. I said let us go to this verse and you will see the angels Harut and Marut came down and the baby loan. And I said in the tower because this is the only place where is you're famous where God Again, angels come from. Do you know the story of the Do you know the story of the baby loan? Do you know the story of the baby loan? Do you know the story of the baby loan? Do you know the No, no, first. Do you know the story of the baby loan? I want to go to the verse of a, I want to actually see the interpretation of Ibn Abbas first, okay? So let's go okay. to Okay. Do you know the story of the of the baby loan? The story of of Babylon. No, no, I'm not aware of the story of Babylon. What but again, let me just go to the. Okay. The Jews love the guidance hold on, of hold all on. the prophets. So the Quran. Let me the, just read the, Quran, the no, of Hold on, hold on, okay? hold on. The Quran mentioned the Babylon. You do not know why the Quran mentioned the Babylon. Uh, I mean, why did why did Allah reveal the Quran on on uh, at tur like the mountain? No, 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 no. What a tour? What a tour? Why did he? This is why false. Is there, what why tour? What tour? This is tour. Is a, is a fiction story. What, what tour? There's not. There's nothing. It's called the mountain of tour. What tour? There's no. There's nothing. Nothing like this. What, what tour? Is that, the, is that the Babylon? Is, is the that the Babylon? Is that the Babylon Tower too? No, I'm not. I'm asking you a question. Why does I'm asking have to you be what a tour? Where Allah sends His prophets? What, what a tour? What a tour? Or His messengers, or whatever guidance that might what, come from? What a tour? What is a tour? I'm talking about Jibal tour. I am asking you what is a tour? What a tour mean? What a tour? What a tour? What a tour mean? I gave you an example. I'm talking about the mountain. My friend, I'm asking you too. What a tour mean? I literally told you that Atur is the mountain. It's what Atur mean. You do not know, right? You do not know what Harut might mean, what Marut mean, what Babylon mean, what Israel mean. You Muslim have no idea what all those I names you, because no, no, all no, those I, names what, I because give, all I, I those names you what Atur is. It's Abdul, a, it's a because all those Atur. names because all those names are fictions and they are not true. Look, I gave you. Listen, I gave let you, me tell you. Let me tell you where this story is coming from. Read with me. This is Ibn Abbas. Do you see it? This is Ibn Abbas in the front of you. Ibn okay. Abbas, well, he got your prophet busted. Which which verse? Give me the verse and give me because I can't see the your same page. Chapter, so chapter two, verse one o two. Okay, what does it say? Okay, read well, let me read it. Actually, the Jews left the guidance of all the prophets <laughs> and followed that which the devils falsely related. They acted upon the devils. Uh, what the devils had written against the kingdom of Solomon about the collapse of Solomon's kingdom and 40 days of sorcery and 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 white magic Solomon disbelieved not did not write the sorcery and white magic, but the devils disbelieved did write it teaching mankind um, The devils taught people as it as it is said that the Jews taught people magic that which was revealed to the two angels but the angels were not taught sorcery and white magic and it is said that this means they also taught what the angels were inspired in babel harut and marut nor did they teach it to anyone nor did the angels describe anyone uh, describe anything to anyone till they had said at the outset we are only a temptation we have been tried with calling people to this in order that we, we reduce the intensity of the torment inflicted on ourselves therefore disbelieve not do not learn or act upon it and from these two angels uh, people learn without being taught by them that by which they cause division between man and wife oh. that by which a man finds excuse to leave his wife but they endure thereby with sorcery and cause drift Okay, no stop, one stop here, stop here. Well, here it says that they taught in Babel. Is that is a Babel is a city or the tower? It's a city. How you can confirm that to me? The city of Babel, we have that. Okay, hold on, hold on. What do you mean the city of Babel? Okay, where where it says that this is the city of Babel is not the Tower of Babel. Where does it say the what, uh, what tower Harut of Babel? and Marut? Where where Harut and Marut are staying in Babel? Where? Where does it say? You said uh, Babel is a city, correct? You said Babel. You said Babel is a city. All right. Where Harut and Marut they live in Babel? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? It doesn't say. What, what do you mean you don't know? 
No, when the Quran mentioned Babel, he meant exactly the Tower of Babel. But you don't know that. I, I know that I, 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 those are angels, they don't live between people. The Tower what? of Babel, my friend, your prophet is a thief, he stole the story from the Jews. The Jews, they have a stupid story. It's called the legions of the Jews. And one of those stories that there is two angels sent down by God to teach magic. Their name, they in the in the in the, in the legions, like Azazir okay, and etc. Okay, you're assuming. That, so uh, you're I'm assuming not assuming. I'm not assuming. This is what the legion eyes. teach. Muhammad, he adopted the same legion. He said that Harut and Marut came down, and look what Allah is doing here. Actually, don't, don't you see the story itself is is enough to to be to believe it is against science. God, He sent two angels to teach magic, and you yourself is speaking about science. Is magic is something real? Magic. Uh, what do you mean by like magic? Uh, the, those the angels, magic, yeah. those angels, they will teach people how to do magic so they can fight wife and husband. So the Quran confirmed that magic is real. Do you accept that scientifically? Magic, yeah, like black magic is. It's, uh, real. it's black magic is according to Islamic theology is is something that we have. Yes. Okay, so is that is is that consistent with science? Uh, it's supernatural is our devils and angels consisted with my, my uh, with friend. Science. No, no, don't you see you are the one has, is, is going away now No, no, I, no, no, I'm not going devil away and angels. Going no away. devil and angel. You see listen 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 stay, stay focused stay focused with me Do you agree with the verse here that God he sent to angels you said to the Babylon? Let us go with that to open a school to teach magic. Do you agree with that? It, where does it say open a school? What it's mean to teach? It, no, it Allah says it says to open university. It says it says listen. to open university. Sorry, not a school, a professional university, opened by God, certified by Allah, to teach a there man no and wife how to fight. Why are you making all this stuff up? I'm not making There's things no up. Who is the one who sent the angels, my friend? Who is the one he sent the angels? Allah. He sent them to do what? To teach why mankind. Why, why are you changing the topic? I'm not changing, changing the topic. The I'm not changing the topic because you are the one insisting you're, you're, that Bible. You are the one who insists that Bible is not the, the tower you're of Bible. Okay, you're prove to me, prove to me that the, prove to me that the, the Bible is not the tower of Bible. Can you? Um, I, I again, I told you that you're assuming that it's the tower of Bible. I am not again, assuming. This is what the legion says. Assuming. Everybody knows the story of the legion. Everyone knows the the story of the Bible's of a tower. Don't everyone tell me Everyone knowing assuming. doesn't uh, listen, Habibi. Everyone <laughs> knowing doesn't uh, exactly. The everyone knowing. No uh, problem. What the no story problem. Is, no problem. Let us go. Let us exactly say it's a city. Let us say the city. Let us say the city. Okay. The why Allah He sent? Why Allah He sent the angels? To teach magic in a city, it's called B Bible. Uh, he sent it says it in the verse. In, Why in the same verse? To teach man to make a man and wife fight. I mean, what is the logic of that? Is that a god? Do you think a god uh, would do that? Well, <laughs> you're such a hypocrite, man. Uh, didn't 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 Jesus in in your in your own Bible say, mm. "I have not been sent with peace, mm. but I have come with a sword." And he goes on to say, "I have come." Uh, to turn a man against his his husband, a white. A, a, I I can't really quote the verse. My friend, my friend, you are you, you are you are uh, you are fabricating stories not exist. What Jesus said that you are going to fight because of me. A man and his wife they might fight because of their faith. The mother she go against her daughter because of her faith. The sword See, Jesus. Said, my friend, now, my right? my friend, my friend. Just to show you how hypocrite <laughs> you are. You're Did Jesus it. killed anyone by the sword? Did Jesus kill anyone no, by a he sword? Didn't, he didn't kill okay. anyone by so the sword. So the sword he's no. talking about, he said, people, the time will come and people, they will kill you, thinking they are doing favor to God. This is the sword. People, they will kill them. The sword is going to be on us, not from us against others. So people will hate you because of me. This is what Jesus said. So the sword he's talking about and the peace he's talking about, that we, because we believe in him, everybody will go against us like the Muslims want to kill us. As Muhammad in the Quran says in chapter 9, verse 29, and the Muslims today think they are doing favor to God by killing the Christians. And this is exactly what Jesus said. Now, don't change the topic, and this has nothing to do with magic. This is here. We have a magic, and we have two teachers sent by God. The topic. I'm we have two teachers. We have two. We have two. We have two teachers. We have two teachers. This is not a metaphorical thing. This is about real magic. Okay. And you said you are believe. You are a person who believe in black magic. Now that's wonderful. Magic is 
taught by two angels then okay. the devil he learned from the angels do you agree well first of all what a, let's read the verse you did you did already many times and this is the, the interpretation in front of you well i mean the again according to the verse the the i think the devils already knew that no to where it says already knew where it says it says the one who sent them down is allah and the one who taught is harut and marut uh, or what the devil did they wrote it down uh, i think i read it in the interpretation one second let me just read it again sorry hmm. what is Yeah, see, in early in the interpretation of Ibn Abbas and 40 days of sorcery and white magic, Solomon disbelieved not, did not write this sorcery and write magic, but the the, the devils disbelieved, did write it. So mm. that according to the interpretation of Ibn Abbas. Yeah, but who is the one no, who taught them? It doesn't say that the It says, my friend, continue me. reading. What's wrong with you? It says, it says, come on. It says in the front of your eyes, read with me. The Jews taught people it, magic and that which has revealed which is revealed to who who is the first time was revealed by who by the two angels but the angels were not taught sorcery no, and white claim, magic no no, no I, I was i was talking about your claim that the angels were teaching the devils my friend i know i'm not saying they're teaching the, the devils i'm i'm saying they are the one who opened a school to teach black magic yes or no it doesn't say open school who is the one who start teaching who is the who is the first one listen listen uh listen okay let us make it simple who is the first one who is the first one taught magic give me the give me the answer give me the answer to make it short who is the first one according to the quran start teaching magic the first one the first one is the devils that's false read with me you are you are lying well, chapter 2 of verse well, 102 what it, it says say? what is it my friend my friend my friend my friend it's stop lying on. stop lying shame on you it's in the front of you let us read together it says okay harut and maru did listen harut and maru did teach magic i i'm not disagreeing okay. with you who is the first but one that's not my question that's not my question who is the first one who brought black magic to the earth it says it evil early on it says and follow what the devil by the way are we going by the by the verse or are we going by uh, uh go like by, by the whatever verse you want the because devil? both saying the same both are saying the same the interpretation no, no, no. and the verse listen who is the one who is the one it says it says but the evil ones teaching men magic and such a thing came down at babylon to the angels harut and marut that thing came to who came to the angels who harut well, and marut it doesn't say but neither anywhere, yes they are the first one are you saying the angels they learn black magic from the devil first of all um, are you they, saying don't don't say first of all are you saying that the angels harut and marut they learn the black magic from the devil either you say yes or you say no no they they most likely already knew but i'm saying already that already knew thank you very much now, who is the one first received the black magic based on the verse? It's in the front of you. Who is oh, the first oh, so one you know, received it from who is the one who, who received Abdul, first? Listen received. carefully. No, 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 no. Read with me. And such a thing as came down, came down. So first time black magic came down, came down from where? Black, black magic. It doesn't say first again. My it friend, say it first. says, and such a thing as came down. So first thing, this thing came down, came down from where? Are you? I want to. I want to understand what you're saying. Are you saying first, as in they my were friend, the first? My friend, my friend, don't say magic? I don't understand. I'm saying. I'm saying to you. I'm asking a question. This black magic came down. Came down from where? It came from the angels. The angels are down in heaven. The, down in the Babylon tower. <laughs> where does it say tower again? Okay, my friend. Where the hell does it say tower? Read with me carefully. And such a thing as came down at the Babylon. To the angels so the angels harut and marut already down in earth okay at babylon yes so now the angels are down in earth what came down what is the thing came down to them magic thank you very much came down from who from allah thank you very much so allah he is sending a black magic education to two angels to do what with it well, first of all, don't tell me first, first of, all. of all. Don't tell me first of all. I, I okay. you don't play games. They, 
Allah sent that. No, 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 no. First of all, no. Second of all, no. Third of all, no, no, no. Because you see, I have to squeeze you to make you admit at the end. So now you admitted. Now you admit. No, 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 no. Don't take it. You cannot play with the Christian prince. You cannot. You are not the one. You see, the first time the black magic came down to earth, it was from Allah, and you are the one who said that. Do you but, agree or no? I didn't say that. No. You did. I was, you did. Do you I want was, me to play your voice? Do you no, want me to, I didn't say do that. You me, me to play your voice? Do you want me to play your voice? You said you say that the, the black magic came down from, came down from Allah. Allah. To the angels. <laughs> the magic came down from Allah okay, to the angels. You are us, exactly let right. Let us go back okay? to zero. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. And such a thing came down at the Babylon. Such a thing. Zero. Let's not go back to zero. No, we will from, go back to zero. I am going to. I'm going to. I'm going to barbecue you today. Today you will not leave safe. You 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 will be sorry for calling me. You are you are you are declining. You are saying Allah did not send the black magic when you a second ago ago you admitted. Wait, that, let, us magic, let us read together. Let us read. Let us say. Let us say together. Such a thing. When the Quran. Read with me. Read with me. When the Quran say and such a thing. What thing? Uh, black magic. Okay. The, the magic itself. Okay. The black magic. Think that. Let us write down, guys. Let us write down what he says. So because this guy he have a very short memory. So you said the thing mean magic. I will type in the top of it, magic. All right. Which is he your sent down, but the thing is, you're assuming hold on, hold that, on, he, okay. they were the, that magic, magic okay. did not exist Magic on came down, came down from where? The magic came down from where? Okay, it came down from Allah to okay, the angels. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's write down. Again, Let us write down. Let us write down. Let us write down because you have a short memory from Allah. Wonderful. So from Allah, okay. the, the magic came. Thank you very and much. Again, you're assuming that magic was that was okay. the first time. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Came down, came down to who? Came down to who? What came down to who? Came down to the angels. Again, I've already told you. All right, came down to the angels. To the angels. Thank you very much. Okay. So who is the first one received the black magic? Don't say first. Don't say first because we don't. You're assuming that just because just you're assuming that they were the first ones to ever receive uh, have like. That they were the first. Are ones you to saying? Have black are you magic saying the knowledge Earth? of a black magic is exist not only with Allah? And the Satan, um, he do not need the knowledge of Allah, so he himself he can he don't he know the black magic. He do not need Allah. How are you saying that? It's possible. That it's possible. Yeah, it's po it's possible that Where the Satan that? learned how to do magic. Yeah, you know this is this is will be in, in YouTube. The Muslim they will make fun of you and they will torture you for saying anything. You just said that the knowledge there is a knowledge which Allah he have nobody have. It's I in the hand of the, the devil. Of Allah, okay, no, okay? Yeah, because because the verse saying but that the verse that saying the, has, the verse we, saying that this knowledge came down. You are a liar. You are you are claiming that coming down because that that's me. You see, that's me. That's me. You're a prophet is a liar because when the prophet says it came down, how it came down and already the shaitan knows about it. Because I we were going by that your the interpretation is of Ibn Abbas and Ibn Abbas he said that Ibn Abbas agree. Ibn Abbas agree that Ibn the Abbas angel is the one. Let me read it to you and show that you're a liar. Let me read it to you and show that you're a liar. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let us go to Ibn Abbas. Let's go to Ibn Abbas. Abdul, let us go to Ibn Abbas one by one. Here we go. This is Ibn Abbas. Okay, all right. It says here, and it said that the Jews taught people magic. From the beginning, that from the no beginning. problem. You can go back, no, no, which was revealed to the two angels. So that where the Jews, the where Why the Jews, read it from the hold beginning. on, where is the Jews? They get their magic from. Read it from the beginning. You can read from the beginning. Go ahead. The Jews left guidance. Okay. To, no, to, no, to, no. Why? Why are you afraid? Read, to read it. Read, it, from the read it. Read it from the beginning. We did already. Go. Go ahead. The Jews. Listen. It says the the Jews <laughs> left the guidance of all the prophets. And then it, it quotes the verse, and they followed what that which the devils false real falsely related. They acted upon what the devils had written against the king, kingdom of Solomon about the collapse of Solomon's kingdom and forty days of sorcery and white magic. Okay. And so that means what? So that means magic was already before what uh, it existed before. Just to show you how ignorant you are, 
You look like you do not know anything about Quran. Don't you know that the shaitan, he took the ring of Suleiman and he started having sex with his wives according to your prophet? This is the black magic they are talking about. What are you, what are you talking about that he had sex with? Don't his, you know? Don't you know that shaitan, he slept with all the wives of Solomon after he took his ring from him? And this is what the magic here they are talking about. Why are you changing the topic? I'm not changing you, the topic. Just, you are the one who says to I, read the story. I just show it. Are you the one? Are you the one who asked me to read I from the beginning? You idiot! You idiot! Because you idiot! You do not know no, anything about idiot. Islam. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Is the baby loan exist before Solomon or after Solomon? What Babylon? Is it exist before Solomon or after Solomon? Babylon, uh, I don't know if, if uh, 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 no, you tell me based in the Quran, based in the Quran in front of you, the baby loan exists before Solomon. Okay, then why does that even matter? But again, but listen, but the Quran comes from I what do you mean? What's matter? You just, you just admit it. Look, 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 look. It says, it says, continue why reading, continue, continue reading, continue reading, continue reading, Abdul, continue reading, continue reading, continue reading. You are an idiot, you are an idiot. Listen, it says here. That Where those after you, 40 days of sorcery, why you stop reading? Why you stop reading? The 40 days of sorcery, it's coming from where? What do you mean? It's I coming from where? I, the I, sorcery I, coming I, from I, where? Continue you, reading. You continue continue reading. Reason. Why you stop reading? Continue reading. Solomon, continue. Here it says 40 days of sorcery, white magic. And then continue. Suleiman, disbelieve not. Did not write this, write this, write this sorcery and white magic. But the devils disbelieve. And did write it teaching mankind the devil taught people as it says that the Jews taught people magic and what and that which was revealed to the two angels. So what the Jewish are teaching and what the devil are writing is what is revealed to the two angels. Are you slow? If you are slow, say yes. If you are wrong, admit and say I'm sorry. I was wrong. But but listen. But let's uh, read about this word about the collapse of Solomon's kingdom and forty days of sorcery and white magic. Yes, because your prophet he told the people that Shaitan he took the ring of Solomon and he cloned himself to look like Solomon and he started it having sex with his wife. The prophet, that still proves that still proves that magic existed before Harut and Marut. What do you mean, you idiot? I, you okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I challenge you to show me one interpretation says what you are saying. I already read it for you. It in says the one in the front of you. No, you idiot. The, the, the one in the front of you. It says that the we, people they get that from what is revealed to the two angels. Where they get that from? The Quran is teaching you the source of this. Where they get it from? They get it from Harut and Marut. Why you are slow? Okay, so you're you're saying that the that the uh, the magic first came from Harut and Marut, right? I'm not saying the tafsir in front of you saying that. Okay, so let's let's take it then. I, I take let's take that the that magic first came down from Allah to the uh, Harut and Marut. I I don't mind that. No, do you mind or this is what it says? I don't mind it. What, no, no, I don't want. With... I don't want you to mind or don't mind. Tell me, it doesn't say that in the front of you. Everybody is laughing because the text in the front of our eyes does it say that that this is what came from revealed to Harut and Marut. Yeah, the magic was revealed to Harut. So and why Marut. you are lying to me for the last hour, making me scream, losing my voice, saying it's not true, and now you admit and you are saying it's true. You are a liar. You are not qualified to talk to me. Shame on you. What? Shame on you. I spent more than 40 minutes just to make him admit that the Quran saying that magic was revealed to the two angels first. All this time and screaming for one thing, to make him admit and agree. Apologize for lying to me and I'm lying for the people who they are listening before you start talking. Okay, so why uh, apologize? Apologize first. Apologize for calling me a liar, saying it doesn't say that, claiming that the one who knows magic first was the devil, not the angels. Apologize. Okay, um, I will not apologize. Then get first. lost. Then get lost. No. 
<laughs> Don't call me. You apologize. Everybody heard you. This is, will be all over YouTube. You have no dignity. You have no honesty. And debate and argument cannot happen between a liar and an honest man. Can you give me a chance to explain? I, you cannot explain. Either you say this is what it says. You admitted this is what it says. So Can why? You give me a why, to explain? why you played all this game for the last forty minutes? You Can wasted you my time. Why you want to explain now? Why you want to explain? Again, are you going to explain your lies? Okay, can you? Uh, Are you going to explain go your I'm lies? I'm not going to explain my lies. So why you said it's not the angels who got it first all this time, and now because why you change your mind? Assuming that they got it first. Who? It was revealed. It was revealed to the angels first, right? But this that, is not. That's true. But this is not what you said for the last forty minutes. So why you give me all this headache? Apologize at least. It was revealed to the angels on my like, friend. My friend, you you were fighting me. Angels. You were fighting you me, screaming at me. Saying to me first, no, 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 I'm not going to talk to you. No, 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 go, go, go. I have no time. Sorry. Don't call me again, please. I don't have time for kids. Either you apologize, either you apologize, or I'm going to block you, Salah Din. Apologize. Say at least say I was I was wrong. Be honest with because, yourself. Well, you're not say, giving me a chance. Say I was wrong. I, say, be honest, be honest. Say I was wrong. All of us we can be wrong sometimes. What a big okay. deal. Fine, I will apologize. Whatever. Thank you. Hey, wait, no, I know I, I'm speaking to a man, not to a kid, because for 40 minutes, I'm trying to explain to you that this is what happened and you refuse to accept. Now we can talk. Okay. So, okay. so then what's now, the now we reach agreement. No, hold on. You, now we reach agreement that the one okay. who first learned magic, send magic, is Allah. Then he sent it to the angels. Question. Why Allah, he sent an angel to teach people how to make a wife and husband fight? Uh, well, first of all, you're being you're giving a specific example. I'm not giving a specific the, example. This is what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying why? Okay, fine. Uh, the, he sent a temptation down, and the angels themselves were saying that uh, they they're they're teaching what I want to quote exactly what they're saying. Okay, it says they taught people witchcraft and what was revealed in Babylon to the two angels Harut and Marut. Yet those two never taught anyone without first warning him. We are sent only to tempt. Do not disbelieve. Okay? So God just sent a test for them, basically. He sent a test for those people. What a test? What is the test? To make a husband to, and wife fight? I mean, is that a test? This is a disaster. Well, he warned them not to. He warned them not no, no, to. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's you're let's, let's, uh, so then your your logic according hold to your on, logic, hold on, God hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Who is the one who teach bad things, God or Satan? Uh, Satan, Satan teaches bad things. That's... Okay, is making a man and wife fight and the knowledge of doing that by sorcery is it good or bad? Um. First of all, let me say this, okay? Hmm. You're, but when the angels, when the angel, when God sent down this temptation, He sent it as a test to them, right? Test to who? But then to who? To mankind, to my the friend, people there. My friend, what to mankind? I mean, mankind already they failed. They are in Earth. Adam already in Earth. What temptation? They, they need more temptation. They have sex. They have alcohol. They have money. And why now? Now what? He is sending more. He's sending black magic. And black magic, what kind of temptation that is? Because somebody, according to black magic, as an example, somebody took some hair well, from your prophet. The thing is, look, hold on, hold on. Did this black magic work in your prophet too? Um, why is that necessary to the topic? Because you are the one who's saying that this is a temptation. Temptation. Yeah, because to the who? verse says, the verse says, it says, "We never taught anyone without first warning him." We are sent only to tempt. Okay. To tempt so, who exactly? To the people. By what? By the black magic. How you can tempt them by the black magic? Explain to me. Well, for um, black magic can give you money. It can give you power. It can give you all that stuff. All according right. to and black, black magic, magic will hurt people like Muhammad too. Correct. Yes, it okay. would. It would who hurt is the anyone? One, anyone subject, based on the interpretation, subject, based on the interpretation you all, did, you did. First of all, I don't know. If, I don't know if Muhammad is subject to black, uh, black magic. Like if, 
But I'm saying, I'm saying, let's, let's anyone, assume, anyone let us assume, let us assume that your prophet was infected by black magic. Let us assume that. Okay. Now, when Allah He sent the black magic, do He knew that people will get hurt by this black magic, and there's no benefit of it? So temptation uh, to who it is? It is temptation for the one who will be a victim. It is temptation for the one who will use it. It's the temptation for the one who will who will use it because. He's okay, thank you very much. But isn't it the angels are the one who is using it because they are the one who's teaching it? The angels were t the angels themselves said that we were only were only teaching. So uh, this let me teach you something. Attempt. I will say to you, I'm going to teach you black magic, and I will make you sign a disclaimer. I am teaching you how to control the mind of people, how to destroy their life, how to make a wife and husband fight and divorce. But sign a disclaimer says this is a temptation. What kind of logic and where is the ethic of that? So I'm going to teach you how to make poison to kill people, but I sign I make you sign disclaimer that this is a temptation. What is the ethic in that? And what is the logic of that? Well, the logic is that if if I'm sending if I'm sending uh, an angel, okay, and I say, go and teach those people black magic okay uh but tell them that this is this is only a test for them not to they should not follow it okay hold on okay. hold on hold on what is the point of this i mean those people the who, point you is, are, the okay point let, is, me, let me tell you let me tell you do, do do allah knows that the black magic will be used by the devil yeah he knew okay. that it would be used by the devil okay. but listen let so me why ask he is you this arming why he is ar question. why he is arming the devil but with towers Christian Prince, with, Christian why, Prince, why Christian he Prince. is arming the hey, devil listen, with, let me with, ask with you tools. this question let me ask you this question don't ask I, me my I, friend I, don't ask me my friend we, we, we need to no, finish no, this but you're saying you're basically saying why did allah then create the devil why did Allah? no this is not the question uh, this is not the question because god did not create the devil by the way this is only in islam god in christianity he created an angel the angel he chose to disobey did he God. Did know that the angel is going to turn? Did he know that the angel is going to turn? Uh, we, and, we and, as a Christian, we don't believe in the same as a Muslim. You Muslim believe that everyone okay, he have his destiny. Know, we don't example, believe in destiny. That when he we don't the believe sun, in destiny. He, everybody has. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody have a free will in Christianity. In Islam, you don't have a free will. As an example, do Adam? Okay, did Adam? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Was Adam committed? Sun, hold on, hold on, hold on, just to show when you how God it's stupid. Did he know that people are going to worship it? God, what? When God created the sun, did he know that people are going to worship it? He knows everything, so. But he so didn't. But he did he not create the sun to. No, no. You see, this is stupid because he did not create the sun so people to worship it. He created the sun no, to I warm us up. Because he created the sun no, for. Listen, back, listen, back, listen, listen, back, listen, back, listen. Don't be back, stupid. Back, don't be stupid. Your your logic is stupid because if God created the sun, it's not his fault. It is not his fault. This is not magic, Abdul. This is not magic. Magic has magic has no use for use. The sun. Is the reason for us to be alive if the sun disappears for me, one week the earth will die listen up don't don't, don't be stupid don't be stupid don't be stupid listen the sun is exist back to be back useful back. not to be harmful what is the use of the black let magic no, no, what is the good use what, your logic is. what your logic is the is good that use and Marut, they were they they had the allah sent them as a temptation to te to teach something and told them not to not to learn it okay like he's just testing mankind ah, okay i will teach what you something and I don't learn it something. so allah he opened a school for a criminals teach him how to commit crimes and okay. he made the criminal okay. sign that sign here you will not do it it's a temptation i mean what is the logic so I open who is who is let me ask you who is the one will be interested to learn the black magic unless he is a corrupt man anyway Why a good man? A Why a good man? No, 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 it's not a test. It's not a test. This is a stupid story You're a prophet. He took it from the Jews. He have it from the Jews The Jews have many stupid stories. It's not part of the religion let me, again. Let me backtrack to what your logic is you because Abdul. you're saying that you're saying that the that that the uh, the angels teaching magic okay where is the logic behind them teaching it and and having this is like what is the logic behind this test okay, okay. that's what you're saying hmm. and you're saying that Allah if Allah knew that this is going to cause people to you know like 
turn a man against his his husband or like no he did not know he did not he did not know he this is the plan the plan is he will send this magic to do this exactly it's not about he knew he sent it for that reason and this is a there's a huge difference between about he knew what people would do with it and he sent it for that reason specifically read the verse saying that yeah as a test yeah what, as a, as, a what test. as a test why you want to destroy family who they are happily married by magic because magic my friend is not something based in the magic what people believe that when somebody do magic to you he control you which means you are out of conscious you don't do things you are aware of as an example your prophet he used to imagine himself having sex with his wives in fact he did not so we can't blame him for not doing that because he was and the magic do you agree can you say that again if muhammad did something when he is under magic do we blame him for being under magic or he is a victim if what sorry if muhammad or you or me we were in their magic yeah. am i a victim or i am a criminal if you were in the magic no and their magic somebody did magic to me if, if we you assume, were under magic if yes I, you're a victim okay you're so why allah he wanted me why allah he wanted me to be a victim what the point what he got from this now i am he i am a victim my wife victim. is fighting he with me let's see what will happen let us see the scenario Somebody, Allah, he taught the angels. He sent the angels down to earth to open a school to teach magic. Everyone will join the school with sign disclaimer says, I sign disclaimer and I understand that this is a, 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 a teaching in order to make a man and his wife fight together. I sign and ag agree that this is a temptation well, from God. Example. No, it's not an example. It says there why. It's a, yeah, it's in a verse. I know it's right. in a verse. Okay. okay? So now, what, says, what, is what is the point? What is the point? What is the point? What they want to? They want to learn for so what? They want to learn what? what okay. Do, you, you, are, you are you are trying to deny that Allah is teaching evil. He is teaching evil. Okay, but again, he okay. He so guys, he admit that Allah is teaching evil. That's wonderful. So why Allah is teaching evil? I don't this admit is the question. That Allah is teaching you said evil. okay. You said okay. Who is the one teaching the black magic? Allah. I'm not uh, okay. Okay. He sent. He sent the angels. Okay. okay. Is I, evil is is again. is it black magic he evil or angel. good? Is it black magic evil or good? Black magic is evil. Okay. So we now we we let us reach the point. Allah is the one who taught the black magic. Black magic is evil. So Allah is teaching evil. Why? Allah is. Uh, he is. He again. You. He sent. I. I told you this before. He sent the angels. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and he taught like the angels themselves before teaching the black magic. They said we are only sent as a test. So he is. He is teaching this. Okay, my friend. This is a test for who? I gave you the example. I gave you my friend. My friend. My friend. What test? What test? What test? Isn't it enough that Jet Adam is out of heaven already? Isn't it enough that you know those people? They they there is a crimes. Isn't it enough that the sons of Adams kill each other? I mean, what test? They need. They need more. What is that for? What the Blagic will do? And and this is against. This is against any any kind of ethic because if I teach people, you see. God, he created Satan, but not as Satan. He created him in Islam as a genie, in Christianity as an angel. Satan, he disobeyed God. So he chose to be disobedient. Okay. Then Allah, he told him, get out. Where? Get down. Down where? To earth. So now Allah, he unleashed the Satan, Shaitan on them. Why Allah is giving even not only Shaitan, even mankind more evil tools to harm each other. Well, the thing is, God is a creator of everything. So if he's a creator of, if, if he would have created evil too, but are we, should we be following evil? Let me ask you, let me ask he's you. Someone, let me make, a, let me make it simple. Let evil. me make it simple. Let me be simple. Adam, he commits sin. Did Adam commit sin because Allah is evil or because Adam did evil? Because Adam did evil. Okay. If what if I show you this is absolutely a lie and not a true? Where are you going to show me that from? Well, you're a prophet. He explained the story of Adam and he said that Adam and Musa they have a debate. Musa said to Adam, First of all, what's the reference? I would like to look at look No at problem. It. I will show it to you in the screen. I don't, I can't have, I don't have access to the screen, so I can't see it. No problem. 
what, what I would what is it? Me, before you were interrupting. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is Sahih al Bukhari. And I'm showing the reference in the screen. Feel free to look. Sahih al Bukhari, hadith number 6614. And I will post it in YouTube in the text, in the chat. So anyone there, and including you, you can grab it and open it. All right? So this is Sahih al Bukhari. And this is your prophet explaining this is a Sahih hadith, explaining an argument between Moses and Adam. The prophet said, not me, not Christian prince, I'm not assuming. Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, Moses, remember, who is the ones talking? Moses. He said to Adam, Adam. Okay. You are our father. Who disappointed us? And turned us out of paradise. So Musa is like you. He agreed that Adam did evil. Then Adam said, O oh, Musa, Allah favored you with his talk. And he wrote the Torah for you with his hand. Do you blame me? Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation. So Adam comforted Musa's Adam, which means he won the argument, and Muhammad repeat that three times, that Adam, he did beat Musa's in this debate. So you're a prophet teaching here, that Adam's sin is not his sin. Allah wrote for him to do that sin 40 years. So Adam is saying to Moses, how you can blame me for something written for me 40 years before my creation? Okay, well, I mean, Adam, he's the, Adam is the one that said that claim, so. And your prophet agree with him, he is right. The, my pro, where does where does, uh, the prophet say My friend, do you know how to read? It's in the front of you. Let me, let me highlight it for you again. It's in the front of you. Your prophet said that, and Adam, he repeated that three times. Adam, he won the debate. Adam, he refuted Musa's. Adam, he refuted Musa's three times. One second, I'm, I'm reading it. Allah had written in my faith. Okay, so... So you I, said, you said, right, let, yeah. let us go to zero now about Adam and, and, and his sin. You, when I asked you, do you think Allah is evil or Adam, he did evil? You said Adam did evil. But as you see here, your prophet teach different story that Allah is evil. Allah, he wrote evil for Adam against his wish. This is why we cannot blame Adam for his sin. Now, you are saying that Allah, he wrote or he sent that black magic as temptation. Right, and yeah, you are saying that is say a this. test for mankind. Well, was the test of Adam a test really, or it was a fake test? Based on the, your prophet explanation, it was a fake test because this is what Allah He wrote to Adam to do before He created him. Forty years. Okay, I want to. I want to say this. Um, it, uh, do you so? Do you not believe that God He ordained everything to happen? No, I don't believe in that, especially about sin. Because if God is the one who made me sin, that's mean this God is an idiot. And he is not a God, he's evil, he's devil. Because now I am out of control of myself, and yet he wanna punish me for a sin I did not do. And this is exactly what he did to Adam. Why he kicked Adam from heaven? Can you tell me? As long as Adam is Adam as long Adam, based on your prophet explanation. Adam is a victim. He okay, is just a guy. He have God, no choice. If God, if God wrote, if God wrote uh, that it would happen, okay, and he ordained for like he ordained for everything to happen. So it's like it. My friend, it's not it's about ordaining. It's about he made a fate for the poor guy. The poor guy did not commit sin. The sin of Adam is not the sin of Adam. This is the sin of Allah because Adam is saying to you to him, "Do you blame me?" Do you blame me? Which means, what is the point of this debate? Moses is blaming Adam for his sin. 
because of you we are out of heaven our father Musa is saying that to Adam Adam said to him but how you can blame me for something I did not do it was my fate Allah written that in my fate not only written for me he wrote that 40 years before my creation so I you okay cannot, but you can't blame Adam for the sin so why Adam is kicked out of heaven explain to me if Adam is victim now I asked you before if somebody practiced black magic on me you said I am a victim thank you very much okay Adam now here is the same as somebody have a black magic on him Allah he made a fate for him which means he is controlling him by black magic he made Adam do a scenario which Allah he wrote in his book 40 years before the creation of Adam and Adam have no choice but to do the story the scenario in the movie Adam is born Adam commits sin as Allah wrote for him Adam is obedient person because simply he is a practicing what Allah wrote for him he cannot change it he cannot choose he have no choice this is his destiny so now but, Allah so, you're, so you're not so you don't believe so you don't believe that uh, God he predetermined everything including sin no my friend because if this is a true if God is the one who made me sin that's mean God is the devil because God is not, not the one who made you no he made God Adam who, okay listen listen what's wrong with you who is the one who made Adam commit sin in the story Allah Adam is saying to Moses how you can blame me what blame me mean you can which mean you cannot blame me for what for sin Moses is saying to him because of you we are out of paradise Adam is showing Moses that this is a stupid this is not a true I am innocent I did not do anything wrong it was Allah he wrote that for me before he created me so when Moses made such an accusation against Adam Adam he did refuted him saying this is written for me it's the plan of Allah it's not my plan it's not my choice it's not my decision you are wrong and he started crying saying this is not right and your prophet repeated three times saying Adam won the debate Adam refuted okay. Moses. Adam refuted okay. Moses. Okay. So again, I'm like I I personally if I didn't believe that God he ordained everything including sin, okay, and predetermined everything then I it would be a contradiction a contradiction contradiction against God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's, let's So uh, the question is if if the God he made Adam sin and you made and he made you sin so why he want to judge you and send he, you to hell? Well, he ordained everything. So this is not a question. What is the what is the logic? He made me sin, and then he will punish me for what he made me do. What is justice? He did. I mean, he did give you free will. What right? the free will? What is the free will? What is the free will of Adam? To not sin. Where? Here we go. Adam is explaining, and your prophet agreeing that Adam did not sin. It was written in his fate. This is the decision of Allah. Where is the free will? Okay, so Adam, Adam, he may have, um, I don't know, like, to be honest, I don't know, okay? I mean, I just think that it's a contradiction against God that he, if he didn't, if he didn't already predetermine everything, um, he, like, it would be a contradiction against God. And it's possible that it's just that this is, uh, like, he predetermined, uh, he predetermined that Adam would, would go on earth, uh, like he would, that Adam would sin, but then we... As humans, that we still have free choice. Where is the free choice, my friend? You, I, I don't know. Listen, I, I, I am, I, 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 like, I can't feel it that you are really. It's very embarrassing. This religion is very embarrassing. The logic of it is destroyed. God, He sent Adam out of heaven, but Adam commit no sin. He is a victim. Adam is a good guy. Allah is the one who made the plan that I will order Adam. Adam will disobey me. Adam will be kicked out of heaven. Then Adam so will have a children. I wanna, 
I w- but it would be a contradiction against God if it's if ne- if everything isn't predetermined. For no, example, my friend, no, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The logic, no, so, listen, listen. the logic of punishing somebody is that because he did wrong or because I decide for him to do wrong. Okay, I want to. I want to just say this. Like, no, answer if, me first. If, answer me first, and then tell me. So, what do you want to say? If I, if I am a judge, and I say to you, don't steal money. And then I make a plan for you to steal to steal money, and then I control you. I have a superpower. I can control your move, your emotion. I can control you from far away. So now you do exactly as my wish, against your wish. Why this guy will be punished? Will go to hell? I will make it more simple for you. If we have a child. Listen to me, uh, Salah. If we have a child, he is, let us say, five months old, and he died, where he will go, according to Islam? If he says what? If he is five months old, or one month old, or two days old, a child, a baby, an infant. He will go to heaven. Why he will go to heaven? What is the logic? Because he is innocent. What does that mean? He did not commit sin, correct? Yes. Okay, I agree with you. Actually, this is in total agreement with Christianity. What if I show you that in Islam, a child, he will go to hell. A child who is born from a Muslim family, he never commits sin. Just because Allah, he wrote his fate, he will go but to hell. I, wanna, I, I just want to say this, like, if if God didn't predetermine everything, it would be, a, including sin, it would be a contradiction against God. Because you're you're suggesting that my friend, this is not about the domain. This is saying this is about fate, fate, fate. He decides your fate before you are born. This is not about God knowing the future. This yeah, is not okay. about God he knowing what people fate. do. No, no, no. This is about you, your action. It's Allah who decides your action. So why He will punish you for your action? Read with me this. This is a hadith, and this is Sahih Muslim. This is a Sahih hadith. We can get it from Sahih Bukhari. It says, Aisha, she said that there's a child from Al Ansar. Which means his parents are Muslims. His mother, his father are Muslims. Aisha and Muhammad, they went to a funeral for this child. And then Aisha, she said to Muhammad that happiness for this child who just died, for he is going to be a bird from the birds of paradise. Let's read together what the hadith is saying. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Can, can you see it, uh, Saleh? I don't have access to it. Again, I to, I've told you that. Okay, if I if I pause the hadith for you in the in the chat, you can get it. Yes, I would be able to. Right. Uh, not in the chat. Send it to me on Skype. All right, no problem. In Skype, let's meet with the Skype. Hold on. Uh, Skype. Where is the Skype? Here we go. Open, please, the link. And read with me carefully. Actually, I will let you read it for me, Saleh. Go ahead. Open the link, please, and read it. One second. What is what is the what is the reference again? Sahih Muslim. The, the, I send you the link. I send you the link. Open it in Skype. I'm trying. I'm pressing on it, but it's not open. Okay, it's Sahih Muslim Hadith numbers two six six two. And by the way, this is a Hadith exists everywhere. This is a very Sahih Hadith. Okay. You were able to open it? Yeah, it says Salim reported. Wait, 2662, you said? 2662C, actually, in the, in the, in the website. This is what it says. It's not here. I don't know. I don't okay, find you it. Speak what, Arabic, don't you? you speak Arabic, right? Go to sunnah.com, go to sunnah.com and type this in Arabic. It's it, uh, type this Osfurum min Asafiri Jannah. One second, sorry. Uh, do you know which book it is from? Oh, yeah, I, here you go. Okay. I found it. All right, go ahead. Read for us, please. Allah's Messenger, there is happiness 
with its child who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it com for it committed no sin nor has he reached the age when one can commit sin he said Aisha per, ad per adventure it may be otherwise because God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they were they were yet in their father's loins and created for hell those who, who are to go to hell he created them for hell while they were yet in their father's loins isn't it, this is crazy my friend i ask you do a child who is an infant will go to heaven you said yes and i said i agree with you this is the logic because i said to you why you said because he's innocent muhammad don't agree yeah there is nothing that's called innocent in islam because allah he wrote a fate you commit a sin or you don't commit sin who care allah he wrote when he created you 40 years before he created you where you will go and this is telling me that this religion is mad it's against justice it's against logic it's against god a child he is just born i just asked you and salih because he was honest with himself and by the nature like i mean a human being logic okay will this child never commit sin so the logic he will go to heaven this is what everybody will say and should everybody dear everybody muhammad, should agree your muhammad never disagreed that this child will not this specific child will not go to heaven no no he, no. Just, he said he might he, no no he said he might go to otherwise he might go the otherwise which mean it's not sure he will go or not because because why because allah created for hell people of hell um uh, and, and he created for heaven people of heaven so muhammad is saying it doesn't matter if he's a child or not commit sin or not this is what he's saying be honest salah this is what it says people are reading okay. with us so what is doesn't matter okay. what it doesn't matter why Aisha she is saying he will be a bird from the a, a sparrow from the sparrows of the of the heaven because he's a child he never commits sin okay wonderful so there's two things confirmed and your prophet did not say he did not commit sin and he did not say he did not, he's not a child so he confirmed both but his problem is don't say that because it might be the otherwise for why for Allah he created for hell people of hell when they are in their father lions which mean before you commit sin before you do anything you are already you're you know you know you you, you are done that's it it's your destiny and this child here why he might go to hell because it is written before he was born where he will go so muhammad is saying to aisha you are mistaken by thinking that this boy he will go to heaven guaranteed because he might go he might not why because allah he wrote their destiny he created for hellfire people of hellfire when they are in their father bones backbone and he created people of hell people of heaven same when they are in their father uh, uh, backbone because it's quran teach that the man is coming from the backbone of the man so where is the logic and where is the religion and where is god that is a well, I mean again I, as I said before it would it would be a contradiction against God if he didn't ordain everything already my friend what ordained a child why he will go you see you are changing the topic you keep going behind ordain this is a child Bro, this is a child he never God, commits sin like, why he have, uh, listen sorry be God, honest be honest be honest God, why why what ordained what ordained what ordained are we going to go to heaven based on justice or by ordained based on justice so where is the where is the justice here why this child might go to hell i don't know okay well you don't know because this is islam i, I don't know islam it doesn't make sense Islam. muhammad here he destroyed islam he exposed islam he showed us that this is no logic this is a guy he believed that god he made for people of heaven before he created them so it doesn't matter if you became a muslim or not it doesn't matter if you became a Christian or not. It doesn't matter if you are a rapist or a killer or a good person. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, what Allah wrote for you, here we go. A child, he never commits sin. A baby. He never did anything wrong. So why he might go to hell? This is not even fair. Give him a chance even to do something. Give him a chance to live for a few years to do something. But a child who never do something, anything, he go to hell? What is the logic? 
my friend Salih, I invite you right now to leave Islam. This is not a justice religion. This God is teaching false teaching, and Muhammad is contradicting every ethic of God. This is not ethic. Imagine you, imagine yourself a judge, and we have a, a little tiny child, he's a baby, he's one day old. And you say to you, there's a place, there's a bedroom inside, we give him milk or we throw him in the fire. You say, throw him in the fire. Why? What is justice? Additional to that, his father is a Muslim. His mother is a Muslim. And Muhammad, he said, every child is born as a Muslim. And I can show you the hadith. I'm sure you know it. So he is a Muslim child. He is Muslim by birth. Not only because his parents are Muslims, even by birth, Muhammad, every child, even a child of a Christian person, he is born as a Muslim. So why the child will go to hell? Because Islam is a mad religion. It's a mad man religion. Muhammad, he created things full of contradictions. They don't match anything. He claimed that if you pray to the Kaaba, in front of the Kaaba, if you touch the black stone, your sin will be forgiven. But this is contradict all of this because it doesn't matter. Let me show you something more. Just, just to, you know, I'm sure you are astonished with this and you do not know what to say. If you go in the different hadith, and all of those are sahih, you can check them out. You speak Arabic and you have the hate in front of you. And this is Sahih Muslim. You can find Sahih Bukhari. Let me show you another one. <clears throat> Muhammad, uh, he said that the one, the person of you, Let me see. He said, read with me carefully. Let me send, let me give you this. Uh, you, uh, you, you said you cannot open the link, uh, Sarah. Can you open or you know, still you cannot open? Are you there, Sarah? Hello? Maybe Saleh he left Islam. Are you crying, my friend? Did you decide to leave this cult? Hello? Don't be don't be uh, don't be ashamed. I mean, this is no shame. It's a shame to be a Muslim. I'm telling you, it's a shame to be a, a person who believes in this garbage. Speak, Sarah, say something. Why? Why you are talk, not talking? No, he did not hang up. He did hang up? Oh, hang up. Yeah, he did hang, hang up. Yeah. Well, here, here we go. He was so excited. And now he left so disappointed, like a flat tire. He thought he's an elephant. He thought he have a god. He, had, he thought he had a book. He thought he had a prophet. After two hours speaking to Christian prince, he discovered that there's no God in Islam. There's no prophet in Islam. There's no justice in Islam. There's no logic in Islam. There's garbage in Islam. There's contradiction in Islam. And there's no justice. Who's next? In the height in front of us, just to finish this, Muhammad, he said that when you are in the belly of your mother, you are you will stay as a sperm for 40 days. So guys, Christian Prince, he was swimming like a sperm for 40 days. Mm -hmm, I remember. It was the most fun time in my life. 40 days as a sperm in the belly of his mother. Have you ever heard of such a garbage? The sperm does not live more than maximum 72 hours. Five days, my friend. Six days, seven days. A sperm is alive, swimming inside the billy. The billy? I was in my mother billy as a sperm for 40 days. This is Alibaba and the 40 sperm. And then Muhammad, he continued. He say 
that Allah will send angels. And look here, the 40 is Allah Muhammad is stuck with the number 48 days. You see, Moses he said, Allah he wrote my destiny 40 the 40 years before my creation. Here the number 40 appear again. Allah he sent angels and ordered him to write four things. Four days, four things. Wow. I.e., his provision, his age, and whether he will be watched or blessed in hereafter. Then the soul breathe into him, and by Allah, the person among you or man may do deeds of people of the fire till there is only one a cupid or an arm. Arm, you are almost in heaven between him and fire. But then, then, what is written by Allah? Look at the surprise, guys. This guy, Muhammad saying, this guy is a scumbag. And there is a distance between him. One cupid. He's almost there in the door. Almost. But then, that is written by Allah. Order by Allah, the angels to write his fate. Proceed. And he does the deeds of people of paradise. And he enter it. Like, what the heck? What the heck? So the guy, he's a scumbag. He's a filthy. He did everything wrong. And by the way, scumbag in Islam means he's a good guy. Because this is mean he did not beat people for not uh, wearing hijab. He did not beat his wife, as the Quran said. He did not kill some Christians and Jews. He did not uh, rape children, as Muhammad did. That is a scumbag in Islam. And now, supposedly, he are almost going to hell. He don't pray five times a day. He don't go and kiss the black stone. He don't do hajj. All those things. Now he will go to hell. And suddenly, Suddenly, what is written by Allah will take over. That's astonishing, my friend. That's amazing. That's so beautiful. This is an amazing God. So why he say to us, repent and visit the Kaaba and do Hajj? And blah blah blah. If at the end of the day it's what is written by Allah will take over. I can imagine the Muslims sitting around Muhammad at that day. Let me tell you a person of you, he is a scumbag. He's a thief. He's a rapist. He eat too much falafel. He don't like to do child molestation like the prophet. He did everything wrong. Everything. He don't pray. He don't do salah. He don't fast Ramadan. But then, then, my friend, then commercial break. If you are a person who is afraid that you might go to hell, but you like to go to heaven and you are a Muslim, insurance company is called Geigo. They are willing to sell you a very great insurance to ensure to you that Allah will write good deeds for you before he created you by writing over your deeds. Call us right now at 1900 Allah. We continue. And then, and then, and then, commercial break. If you are a Muslim who is not secure, that you will go to heaven and you think that Allah he might screw with you and send you to hell because you do not know what he wrote for you call us now 
we have a solution for you. We have a software engineer who can write over your deeds and he can replace them. I mean, what kind of religion this religion is? You might go to hell, you might go to heaven, nobody knows where you will go because it is your fate. You pray, you don't pray, you fast, you don't fast, you do charity, you kill Christians, you do jihad, it doesn't matter. It's in your fate. So all the promises of Muhammad was false. Muhammad, he said, the one who do jihad and die for the sake of Allah, the second his blood is shed, he will be in heaven. That's a lie. Allah, he wrote, where you will be before he created you. How a human being can trust such a madness? If Mr. Saleh is still listening and you decide to leave Islam, my friend, call me. I apologize. Maybe I scream at you at the beginning because you give me a hard time, you know, to, to admit. But I'm I'm really grateful that at least you are honest at the end and you admitted. And I'm grateful that you hang up because you know how shameful Islam is. It's a clear sign that you withdraw with this appointment. But I, if I am you, I will do the same. This is a very shameful religion. I will feel ashamed to defend this cult. If Mr. Sarah, he would like to call me and denounce Islam, I would like to invite you to accept the Messiah. There's no name better than his name above heaven or in this earth. Go and read his teaching and compare with this garbage. You want to know why we laugh at Islam? This is why we laugh at Islam. You see, because you don't speak Arabic, they lie to you. They fool you. They change translation. They play with the meaning. They play with the words. And what is funny in the Quran suddenly became a miracle. We asked the guy, where is the science in the Quran? You Muslim believe there is science? He said yes. And yet he admitted that the Muslim believe that there is a black magic. And Allah, he opened university to teach black magic. Hey guys, I'm going to take a vacation. I'm going to go to the Babylon to learn black magic. I will join the, with the bewitching school, Hori Buter, it's in the Babylon. But the third, there's a the person, his name is the Christian Prince, and he always make fun of the University of Allah. The Babylon University is the most high standard university in the world to teach magic. And Allah, he sent the best professors ever. Harut, Mr. Harut, and the brother Marut, and both of them they are angels. They have seven stars in their wings. And this is their responsibility to teach magic. Thank you very much. When I say to Ahmad, to Saleh, what is his name? Allah, he opened university. He says, Where it says that? Where it says that? Allah, he opened a school. Where it says that? It says that. God, he sent two angels to teach black magic. What kind of God this God is? What about God he sent to angels to teach people good manner? That would be nice. Correct, guys? What about Allah he sent two angels to teach men how to respect their wives, not how to beat their wives? How to love their wives, how the wife she should be decent to her husband, how a family can be beautiful, how we can make this earth like heaven. Instead, Allah sending two angels to teach people to insult each other, to control each other by sorcery.
Any one of you been in Jamaica? Who of you went to Jamaica before? Anyone? <clears throat> in Jamaica, they practice a lot of sorcery. They believe in it. You know, always when there is a group or a nation which is not educated, it's it's a very clear sign of an education. Like a, a nation is infected with uh, ignorance. You will start seeing sorcery. Somebody fool you and he says to you, I'm going to read your future. Give me your hand. I'm going to tell you what is your future tomorrow. And actually this, those, those days, uh, people who do this business, they are doing a lot better. Uh, let me tell you what they do. Uh, <clears throat> in, in USA, this business, by the way, is legal. Because it's not considered like sorcery, like reading your future. You know, like you go to a, they have a store, legal, you pay bills, they pay tax. Uh, before, those who do this uh, stuff, you know, society is a small. And people believe in anything. It doesn't matter what you say to them. They believe. Yesterday, I have a donkey. He came and I fly in the top of the seven cloud, seven heaven, blah, blah, blah. People believe, whatever you say. But these days, the people who do this kind of scam, they use technology. So let us say you want to go and you want the person to read for you your future. They ask you, to take an appointment to give your name your phone number to call you back to and your address to confirm your appointment then those guys they have an office and they have employee they will go and search in facebook instagram blah 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 collect uh, as much as they can information about you and after they con they confirm all this information you know, there are some people, they post everything in Facebook. I'm going to my mom now, post on your Facebook. I bought a dress, she posts in Facebook. Look at my lipstick. I broke with my boyfriend. I am going to get engaged. Uh, my husband did beat me. My, I have a fight with my... It's everything in Facebook, in an Instagram. It, it's a scandal. It's a laundry in the internet. Then she go to this guy. He tell her everything. And she's like, wow, how do you know? Unbelievable. Look, what do you mean how he know? It's in Facebook. For sure he knew. You told him before you come. The story with the Abdul, with the Muslims, that when they speak to me, they learn things they never heard of before. And they got into surprise. You see, a Muslim, he learned, he, he, he watched my videos, maybe 100 hours watching my videos. He think he knew it all. So he said to himself, like this guy, Salah, he said to himself, ah, I watch a lot of videos of a Christian prince, and I'm sure now I know how to refute him. Hmm, I learned what he knew. I can play around it. Let me call him. You cannot do that with me for a very simple reason. Nobody knows how much I know about your God, Allah. Not even your God, Allah. It doesn't matter how many hours you listen to me. You learn nothing about me yet. You do not know what I know. And each time you talk to me, I will get you a surprise. Who want to give it a try? Any Abdul? Anyone? All right, guys. So look like we are out of Abdul. Don't forget to please to subscribe and don't forget to share. If you like to learn about Islam, I advise you really to 
get my books for those who do not know or did not have my books yet uh, feel free to get my books you can search my name in Amazon you know uh, just uh, search uh, Christian Prince uh, amazon.com or the Amazon Germany or France etc type my name you will find the list of my books in many languages and uh, uh, for those who they bought the last two volume books I have that last two which is sex and Allah uh, don't forget please to make a review uh, or those who have my German books etc and actually I have a good news that soon I will publish my new book which is a translation for the description of Allah in the Malaysian language uh, I'm working now in fixing the text you know replacing the Arabic text etc getting the format ready and I hope soon we will have the book ready and I as I know that that language is understood by Indonesian too so I hope that's a couple of hundreds of millions will be able to uh, read and learn about the cult of Islam and they will be able to get you know uh, a better understanding for such a cult and for sure my thanks is for the one who translated this uh, book uh, he did a great job you know I can tell he's really he worked so hard to translate it so I'm very thankful for him may the Lord bless him do we have any Abdul any Abdul Any Muslim? Yeah, I have my book actually in Swedish. And I hope those who speak Swedish, they can tell uh, other uh, people, Scandinavian, to, to get this book. Uh, anyone? Yeah, the, the, this new book is going to be in Kindle for sure, because I know it's going to be difficult for those who live in Indonesia and maybe etc., to get the book as paperback, so it's going to be in Kindle for sure. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? If you want my book in Swedish, my friend, just go to Amazon. I think maybe it's better to buy it from Amazon Germany, Amazon DE. I don't know if there's Amazon Sweden. I don't think so. But anyway, I think the shipping is for free if you buy it from there. I'm working actually in your book. Uh, actually, you know, uh, I almost finished the book, but look what happened. Somehow a mistake happened in my computer. I saved the copy, supposedly is the newest copy of the file. And it appeared there's two copies, so I decided to delete one. I deleted one, and then when I opened the new one, I found it empty. So I lost the whole book. <laughs> I was very angry and I could not retrieve the file you know I could not get back so it was really very 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 uh, like upsetting I was working for three months you know and I got it in, no I, I got it lost in a second but now I will be sure I will that will not happen again um, anyway <clears throat> I want to say thank you guys for being here. I think it's enough for today. Today is a Friday. I will let you go stay with your family, be with your with your uh, with your friends, and be sure that you don't hire or don't get close. If you are an American, don't get close to somebody who is Democrat, because thirty six years from now they might accuse you of something. I'm afraid actually to say hi to a Democrat woman, because thirty six years from now she might accuse me I did something to her. I don't know what's wrong with those people. <laughs> Somebody might say to me, you did something to me when we were 17 years old in high school. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, it is Saturday now. You see, today, tomorrow, I will try to do live broadcast, you know. But as I said, I have really a major project working in. Uh, I have the roof of my garage almost totally collapsed. So I have a lot of work to do, you know, and I hope I will be able to finish it uh, to, tomorrow and the day after, which means Sunday. 
I hope it's going to be done in two days because we have rain coming too. So <clears throat> what you can do, I mean, when you are not rich, you have to do it by yourself. This is what happened. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again tomorrow, if I can, I will open. If not, as I just told you, I, I have a really a busy thing to do. But I will try to do live broadcast tomorrow if I can. Until we see you tomorrow, may the Lord bless you all. And remember, we are victorious by his name, not by Christian Prince. It's not the Christian Prince who made you proud today and yesterday and the day before. It is the name of the one who nobody can prove him sinner. It is the name of the Messiah, which is no one is equal to him. A person who never did sin, never did wrong, never taught wrong, never asked for wrong. He is God who is good. Only God is good. Jesus said to the person, why you are saying to me, you are good when God only is the one is good. So Jesus saying to him, why you are saying I am God? And Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. My friend, there's no good shepherd by better than him. The whole world around us, men walking around us, women, we are walking sin. We are sin in our feet. We commit sin. We do sin, we think about sin, and we are sinners. But yet, we have a solution that we fight sin by his guidance. We fight sin, we fight our weakness, we fight temptation. Jesus will not send two angels to open a school to teach us magic so a man and a wife will fight. This is not what Jesus do. My friend I'm done for today thank you very much try to call me next time earlier so I want to say let us be with one name that is the name of Jesus you are not you see some people they say the followers of a Christian Prince I have no followers I have no followers I am a sinner man every one of us is sinner don't ever follow a sinner follow the good name who never changed Put your trust in his name, not on my name. I myself, I need his name. I need forgiveness. I need salvation. I need a protection. I am not better than any of you. So let us all be proud of being people who follow the steps of Jesus, not by people to be Christians by name. His way of life, his guidance, his teaching, his wisdom. Every day, I, I advise you, open and read 10, maybe 10 lines of the Bible. Hold the Bible and say, I will open the Bible today. Doesn't matter where, whatever the page open, I will read a page. And you will see how amazing what you will see in that moment. I don't want you to waste your time here with me. I don't want you to spend your time just laughing at Islam. I want people to start reading their Bible because don't focus only in the devil. My friend, you need an mission to fight the devil. A person who don't have the power of God with him, he cannot fight by himself. A person who have no faith, he's no one, he's weak. A person who don't want to ask God for help and he think he is the, he's the hero, he can do it all, he can destroy all, he is a false person, he is just fooling himself. The devil is so powerful, extremely powerful. Don't think that you can fight him alone. You cannot. I am strong. For I'm a believer, not because I'm a Christian prince. I am no one without his name. And with this, I want to say thank you for being here today. And until I see you tomorrow, may the Lord... Uh... Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, guys. We have a Muslim. He said, I want you to convince me to leave Islam. You refuse.
in the last moment, I mean, what you can do. <laughs> Should I take him? <coughs> Should I take him, guys? Let us vote. Should I take him? Oh, I'm leaving. I mean, now you decide to take the call. Okay, here we go. Hello. Okay, hello. I uh, you, I want you to give me one minute to speak. Okay. Aren't you the guy who called me yesterday? The guy with yes, no I, with, with the naked guy. I will speak. To, I want to talk. Are you naked now, or you are wearing your clothes? When I want to talk for one minute now, okay. You want to? What do you want to say in one minute? I without interruptions, okay. Why? Okay. Why I will okay, not interrupt? Of, why I will not interrupt you? Because you are you are interrupting me too to deliver so what? the and message. You interrupt me too. So what? But what if you are saying something no, stupid? because this the debate requires two sides. Okay? What debate? What debate? Do you remember it's what? Debate. Do you remember what we speak about yesterday? I'm, I'm speaking now about what, what, we, what, what we spoke if about you, yesterday. Do you remember what we said yesterday? I can say one second. One second. Let, Do you remember what second. we said yesterday? Let, yes let or no? Speak for one second. Do you remember you, what we said yesterday? If you believe babies don't go to hell, why do you baptize them? Why do you baptize babies? You see, why, how, you see, you see why do you baptize you, you see how stupid you are? Question. It's not me who said but, babies don't go to hell, you idiot. No. You this see, is not what I had to No, 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 hold on, hold on. This, this, this oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But you baptize me. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You baptize me because you believe they will go to hell unless you baptize me. Hold on, stupid idiot. For me, every baby will go to heaven. What? Why do you baptize babies? Why do you baptize babies? My friend, this is not This is not a Christian Why do you baptize babies? Listen, you idiot. I'm asking you. I'm answering you. I'm answering you. Jesus never baptized babies, you idiot. He baptized men. Is that why you, uh, most of uh, most of Christians doesn't matter who. Baby. If if a Christian they do that, doesn't mean that this is the right way. A person should be baptized when he is mature, not when he is a kid. This is what the Bible That's why teaches. 99 so I am listen. answering you. I'm answering you. So a baby, he will go to heaven regardless if he baptized or not. Even men, they will go to heaven heaven if they are not baptized as an example the person who was next to jesus he was not baptized and jesus promised him to go to heaven he called jesus god and he called him my lord so jesus said to him today you will be with me in heaven to, uh, he said today you will be in heaven how yes. did he did jesus go to heaven the day you say he died that's because you are ignorant you do not know that we christians believe jesus, that, we believe jesus, oh shut up shut up let me answer you Jesus, he said that because we believe in the Trinity. So Jesus in earth and Jesus in the same time is in heaven, which means we have God the Father in heaven, we have the flesh of Jesus in earth, and we have the Holy Spirit. So always he is in heaven. Yes, he, he is always. Me. Jesus he said, listen, me. listen, yes. Jesus said, you will be with me because we believe in one God. We don't believe in three gods. I am the me and the one who saw the Father is one. They asked Jesus, they said, why you don't show us the Father? He said, I am with you all this time and you do not know me. The one no, who saw me. me. Just shut up. Shut up. Let me answer. Let me answer. I answer. I let me answer. Let me answer. Now let me ask you. Jesus is in heaven and Jesus is in earth. Where is Allah? Allah is in heaven. Are you sure? Uh, yes, I'm sure. What if one I show second. you? What one if second. I show you that no, Allah no, every no, night? I hold on, hold on. What why, if I show? Why? What if I show you that Allah Jeremiah come down? 20, oh, stop, stop, what what if I show it you says Allah the Lord come down? Has shut up, and shut, I up, shut, up shut up, shut up, and shut so up, shut up. And so I'm stronger than I. You, are, you know, by screaming, you will not get away from it. Because how Allah, how Jeremy, Allah come down every the night? Lord is a how in Allah, the Bible. explain to me how Allah come down every night? Do Allah come down every night? Yes or no? Yes, he, he can go every night. Okay, guys. Guys, did you hear this guy saying Allah come down every night? He can come. I don't know. I don't know which has What do you mean, you, don't know? Do you, mean you do not know? You know uh, what do you mean you do not know? I'll, let me repeat the question. Do Allah come down every night? Yes or no? What if what what is what's why this is question even? Because what does this matter? You, you are the one who opened the topic. So okay. do Allah come down every day, every night, yes or no? And come down every night if he wants to. What's the problem? This is not the question. Do he come? Either you say yes or you say no. I don't know. I'm I myself did not read the, about this, but I don't mind if okay. he does. Okay, you don't mind if he does. That's mean Allah is moving between point A and point B. Do you agree? 
He can move anywhere he wants. He is God. In judgment okay. day, he will come down to us. Okay. In, uh, hold, okay. On, hold, hold on, 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 hold on. When you say that Allah, he can come down, Allah come down where exactly? <laughs> come down to this, uh, this, this, at this universe level, this level of, of the universe. So can God go inside his creation or he cannot go inside his creation? Why would he go inside his creation? How you can come down to this level without going inside your creation? Why does he want to get, why would he become a creation? I'm not saying he become a creation. I said, can he go inside his creation? Yes or no? I don't know. I didn't uh, talk what to you. I do not know. Speak. You are the one who just said that God, he come down every night. He have no problem. He with comes it. down every night to, uh, to, to, to be closer to his, uh, to, to okay. the people. He come down he inside where? Do he come down inside his creation? He come down into earth to look at the uh, two. Okay, who guys, to be closer guys, to his hold creation. on, hold on, hold on. Did you hear this? He just said he come down into the earth. Did he come down to the earth? He can if he wants to. Right. I don't is the know. Earth is, is, is the earth is his creation? Is there a creation? Is, is the earth is Allah creation? Yes, it's, uh, it's Allah creation. Okay. You say when it's Allah creation. Go, when Allah he go inside the earth, is he going inside his creation? This, this why why would he go into the earth? You are the one who said that. I didn't say that. I say he enters the universe. He, he enters the universe. Down okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. What's he enter. Let, it's, boss, he's fixed it now. So Allah, he entered the universe. Is the universe his creation? Yes, he had the creation. Okay, so as long as the universe is Allah creation, how Allah can enter his creation? What is this? Is, is a silly solution question? Because you yeah. Muslim, you say Allah is bigger than his creation. He cannot be inside his creation. It can can't he be, be a creation. He can't be a creation. Be born. Be pressed fed by Mary. No, no. How can, can God he be, be inside his creation? Yes or no? He can, this is not. He can't be breast fed by a woman. He can't be taken and eaten and all of this and so die. So saying and Allah? Okay, let, let us see. Allah, he is not. He don't eat, but he go inside his creation. Is that correct? What is this? He doesn't become a, inside his. his uh, the human creations. God How do you know? Is not what what, what, the, what the difference between being inside the human or being, say, being inside the universe? The universe the is a creation. Okay, let, because, let us make it simple. Who is bigger, Allah or his creation? Because it's who is bigger? The, who is bigger, the, Allah the or his creation? Is who bigger. Is he bigger? comes down because God is. Uh, the creation is bigger than Allah. The creation is not bigger than Allah. So I'm asking you, who is bigger, the creation or Allah? Allah, Allah is bigger than the creation. So how he go inside his creation? It doesn't he's not he comes down every night to speak to people came down where he, came down where he can, inside the universe you said you said inside the universe right Allah alam Allah alam no, but don't we know no, one no, thing no no not Allah alam the, the hadith is in front of me read it Allah come we, down to the lowest sky every what? night okay let's 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 go back to something uh, I will, no, read, I will read. Show you. no no don't throw me something don't throw me something no no Show me in front of you. Allah come down every night in the third part of the night. He have a clock. He have a time. He took the bus. He go down to the lowest heaven. Allah is inside the lowest heaven. How Allah is bigger than his creation, as you just said a second ago, yet he is inside his lower heaven. He can go to the lower heaven if he wants to. This, but that this means, is, okay, what do you mean? This, you said he is no bigger. You said he is bigger than his creation. So you are saying that God is uh, is not bigger than the creation? This is your point of view, uh, and this is not what I believe. I don't believe in this garbage. I'm, you are the you one who said. You are the one who said one Allah second, is bigger. Second. Listen, That's Abdul, Abdul, you are the one who said Allah is bigger than His creation, not me. Does God? No, I, I but, 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 so. but, 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 but you are the one who said that, not me. So now, I have, how I Allah have is a, bigger than His okay, creation? Okay, I'll show you from. The, I'll, okay, I'll show but, you but, the but, answer. No, no, don't show me. Don't show me the answer. I want the answer in front of you. It's in the front of you. See the hadith. I, do you, I know do you see the Allah hadith? comes do you above, see the hadith? above above the, above his, his, his the universe. He comes above the universe. You are a liar. It doesn't say above the universe. You are a liar. The hate in the front of you comes down it every says, night. No, it doesn't say no, inside. No, the no, no, no. It says no, to the lowest no, heaven. No, it doesn't say inside. Shut up, it's you liar. Let me let me let me get you busted. In the Quran, it says there is seven heaven. Yes or no? Yes, it says. Okay. okay, is the lowest heaven in the top or in the lower? To our direction. What is the heaven? They are seven, right? Yes. Where is the lowest heaven located? 
Is that the one yeah. is above us? We are uh, yes, it's what it's uh, lowest heaven right. above us. So Allah is in the lowest heaven. That's mean he is inside his heaven, which is the lowest heaven, which means he passed through six heavens and then he arrived to the lowest heaven, which is close to us. So he is in the middle of his creation. Yes, yeah, okay. Not, what's the problem? But the problem you said to me a second ago that Allah is bigger than his creation and you must have refused that God can be inside his creation and now you are saying to me Allah he is in his he creation. Can't, he can't. He doesn't need Mary to breastfeed him. Do you imagine a God have to do? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do your God have a penis? He doesn't have. Who, what is the proof? What is the proof? What, what is the proof? Does, do you think Jesus is God? So God okay. has a penis? What if I show you? you think will you? Hold on, hold on. Uh, by mistake, I was going to move you. Hold on. Answer. Okay, hold on. Do you, do you hear me? Do you hear listen, me? Listen, 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 listen. I asked listen. you, I asked you, you said God, you said Allah, you said Allah, you said Allah, you said Allah, you said Allah. My, my friend, the Lord has deceived me. This is his, his, his belief because he, he deceives no, no, people. No, no, you no, say Harut Marut because he thought, people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me show you. Are you against the word deceive? I, I am asking you. You say God is God that doesn't send angels God, to, to test people. No, how no, how does no, he no, deceive? No, people? no, listen, 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 listen. You, you are fabricating stories. If I say God deceived me, I am speaking to myself. I say God deceived me. I thought he is going to protect me, but he did not protect me. So this is my opinion. This is my point of view. What about two Thessalonians to live in? And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. True. Like it's now, faith. like now, like now, like now. God, he unleashed the evil spirit like Muhammad in those who so are God evil. Sends the evil. No, no, to listen, people. listen. Yes, this. Yes, my friend. If you are not with God, you have no protection of God. This is what it says. So God is always there. If you don't want him, he will unleash all the evil on you. They are exist. It the Satan is, is there. God shall send the strong listen, delusion. Listen. Yes, he, God sends no, no, delusion no, no, to no, people. No, 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 no. The people they fool themselves. This is what even the Quran agree with that. That your Quran, they should believe your Quran. Like listen, listen, listen. Hold delusion. on, hold on. There's a huge difference between. God is the one who is deceiving them and fooling them and make them believe in the devil and they believe in the devil and the devil is their guidance. So this one was, second. This is what the I'm Bible going. is saying. Just hold on. If you want to read interpretation of the Bible, what about we read interpretation for the verse and we read interpretation for a similar verse from the Quran? Do you agree? So, so listen, so, listen, because, Abdul, just to get you busted. If we agree, me and you, to be fair. So, one oh, hold on, hold on. Let me, let, I will spank you at your, your as, as, I do, as I do to your prophet every day. I will accept if you do the following. You quote for me a verse from the Bible. We show the interpretation for it in the screen. And I will show you a verse from the Quran, and I will show you the interpretation from the screen. Both interpretation, the one for the Bible have to be by the, by the Christians, and the one for the Quran have to be by the Muslims. Do you agree? I will I will agree to okay. Okay, okay. Let, let me so, let me start. Let me start. No, no, okay. no, no, not not you start. Give me the verse you want me to, uh, to uh, uh, write it for let me. me. Give why, it, why are you afraid? Give it to me. Give it to me. Battle. I will show the interpretation for so everybody will laugh at you. And then I will choose a verse isn't, from the Quran. Isn't the verse, I will read the interpretation. <laughs> is the Bible clear? Is the Bible clear? Doesn't the Bible you say the Bible is clear? Abdul, don't Do be stupid. Don't be stupid. Get lost. Get lost. You see, the Bible clear, Bible clear, Bible clear. In order to debate somebody about his belief, you have to ask him about what he believe, not what you think. When I debate Muslims, I debate them about what they believe, not what I think. I show them the interpretation about what they believe, not my interpretation. So when I ask you, can you read for me the interpretation for the verse you are quoting? You refuse because you are a potato. You are just a potato, tomato. You have no courage to take the interpretation. That's all. Anytime someone want to debate you about a verse in the Bible, tell him, let us be fair. Are you debating me about what I believe or what you believe? If he say about what you believe, then let us see the interpretation for the verse. If the Christian believe really that God is a devil and he sent the evil spirit and he teach evil, then you are right. That's what they believe. But none of the Christians believe in that. So you are teaching about your own interpretation. When I teach the Muslims, 
I debated them. I did not open the interpretation of a Christian prince of a chapter 2, verse number 102. I opened the interpretation of the choice of the Muslims who he called me. Do you see the difference? You don't call me and you start to give interpretation for a verse in the Bible up to your mood. You are a Abdul. You are a follower of the devil who believe a child molestation is ethical. You are not even allowed to give interpretation. The Bible says the fool one cannot understand for they are fool. And the foolishness here is not about being stupid. It's about they decide to follow the devil. The same as the Muslim when they say, the Bible they say, that people they will say, we cannot understand the book, it's sealed. And they choose that verse to show you that this is a verse about Muhammad. I agree. If you read the title of that verse, you will see it's speaking about false prophets. Because they are stupid, they give interpretation for that verse, which is speaking about false rabbi and false prophets, and say this is about Muhammad, we agree. You see how stupid you are? God cannot have a penis. The Quran says Allah have a penis. Not only he can, because the Quran said, how Allah can have a son if he don't have a girlfriend. When Allah, he says, how I can have a son without having a girlfriend, he just told us that he have a penis. And he just told us that he's a normal man. Because how Mary, she have a son, but she don't have a man who step with her. This is the stupid logic of the Quran. One verse says Mary, she have a son, but she have no man, which means she don't have a boyfriend. And the other verse says, how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend. So how Mary, she have a son, she have no boyfriend. A contradictory, stupidity. But when God, he say, that how I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend, he just confirm that he have a penis. And if we go in different verse in the Quran, just to show you that Allah have a penis. And this is not my interpretation. <clears throat> I don't do what the Muslims do with their stupidity. In the Quran, it says the following. That Allah, if you want to take a partner, a woman, لَوْ أَرَدْنَا أَن نَتَّخِذَ لَهُوًا لَتَّخَذْنَاهُ مِنْ لَدُنَّا إِنْ كُنَّا فَاعِلِينَ I will go and open the same interpretation for the same choice. The guy who called me before, his name is Salah al let me Let me open the website. Give me a second. You see, I don't give interpretation for the Quran. I don't. The Muslim, they try to give interpretation for our book. We don't do what Muslims do. <clears throat> for this is not fair. This is stupid. The Muslim, they get upset because we are reading their interpretation, not because we are making our interpretation. Do you understand? Muslims get upset from me not because I'm making my interpretation. What make them more angry? Like, look, he is showing us what we believe. Chapter 21, verse number 17. God, he said, the guy, he said he cannot be breastfeeded. He cannot be born of a woman. He don't have a penis. Hold on. Let us read the verse and translate an explanation for the verse. 21, 17. And again, you see, you fail, you coward. You don't want me to read for you the interpretation for the verse because you are a coward. Because you know that you will get busted. This is your God. And this is your interpretation, which means this is your belief. This is not the Christian prince saying this is what it's meant. This is not my assumption. And this is what hurt in your ass, all of you. This guy, he don't make things up. He show us right in the front of our screen. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Is al-Jalalain a Christian? No. 
So when you debate a Christian, if you are really an honest person, a decent man, what about we read the interpretation for the verse by the Christians and we read the interpretation for the verse by the Muslims? Read with me. Had we desire to find some diversion, that which provide diversion in the way of a partner or a child. In Arabic, actually, the word lahu means women. If we want to take a woman for fun, for sex, we will, but we will take it from our kind. What our kind? The Muslim, they translate our kind, ourselves. How Allah is one, yet He is our self. And don't tell me here our self is a metaphorical because that means Allah will have sex with Himself. Remember, here is talking about taking a partner, and this partner described by the interpretation of the Muslims, not by Christian prince, as from among the beautiful eyed huris. Allah want to take a partner from the virgins, the women who have a big vagina. Each time you sleep with them, their vagina close again. Magical vagina. Do you see it? So when we give interpretation, we are not giving our interpretation. But when the Muslims read a verse from the Bible, they give their own stupid interpretation. This is why your interpretation is not valid. The Bible is a book. Resemble what we believe, not what you believe. So when you ask me about a verse, accept what I say to you about my belief. The interpretation of my belief, for this is a Christianity. If you give a different interpretation, that is not a Christianity. Are you debating me about my belief or your interpretation? When I debate you, I debate you about your interpretation. You see, when a Muslim, he start or try to say something, we get him busted in a second. Immediately. And we do not need really uh, a Muslim to give us interpretation for anything. You can go right now to any Christian website and right away you open the verse like this. Abdul here is posting the verse. Here we go. You can go and read the interpretation. It's in the front of your eyes. God sent evil. Those people, they killed the Jews, they fought the, the Jews, they destroyed the Jews. Do to them the same as they did to you. He don't want to read the interpretation which is mentioned about the verses because that will not fit with his agenda. There is tons of studies and interpretation for the Bible. You can read them. And none of them agree with you. So who are you? Then he quote for you from the book of Numbers. If we go there, we will find that this is absolutely the opposite of what he's saying. Potato like he's a prophet. He could not find something, so he speak about nothing. He is a copy-paste of what people say. <clears throat> you know, when somebody caught for you from the Old Testament, as an example, they say, Oh, go and fight the Amalite and kill them and etc. But those Jews, they were killed, they were tortured, they were, they were, you know, just Muhammad himself, he killed 900 Jews in one day. So if I am a Jew, exist in the time of Muhammad, and I am, let us say, Moses, what I will say to the Jews? 
I will say to them, don't fight them. Don't kill them. They have to defend themselves. Nine hundred Jews slaughtered by Muhammad in less than three hours. He slaughtered them like sheep. The stupid Jews, they surrender his arms to Muhammad. And that's why they call them stupid. How you can trust the wolf to protect the sheep? My friend, don't take interpretation of anything written in any book from someone else. This is what the Muslim believe. That's it. This is what the Muslim believe. This is what the Christian believe. That's it. This is what the Christian believe. But don't take what the Christian believe from Jehovah's Witnesses. You want to listen what the Christian believe? Read interpretation of the Christians. I'm not going to give you interpretation for the book or teaching of the Hindus made by an atheist. For that would be stupid and not fair. For he is not a believer and he is not the one who knows the book. Believe simply is interpretation first of words supposedly is coming from higher authority. Which means at the end of the day, it is what it's meant. When they quote for you from the Old Testament, the Old Testament is a book of history, not only a book of God, which means there is their stories about war, failure, sin, prophets, kings. There's a there's a book, it's called Kings. There's a book, it's called Acts. There's people, you know. So it's book of books, and this book contains many, many stories. And actually, it's a major so this is a book of history, collection of historian event. Good things, bad things happened. The Jews, not always they were doing good. Actually, in the major time, the Jews, they were doing bad. They disobey God. Sometimes they obey God. Sometimes they don't obey God. Sometimes they commit crimes. Sometimes they do good. That is our book. So when a Muslim, he quote for you, he tried to mix things up for he have no dignity and he tried to explain things in the way he wish it looked like my screen is uh, gone i'm not sure why is my screen gone ah i'm not sure okay let us see why hold on <clears throat> is it gone from long time That's strange. Look like it's not going to come. All right. Anyway, guys, we are we are we are done. Anyway, so it is you know those guys they call and they copy paste. And when we say to them, do you agree to read the interpretation for the same verse you choose, equal to the same verse I choose? They don't want that because they will knew then they are no match. This is what the Muslim believe in the front of your eyes. And I know now you cannot see it. But if tomorrow we do podcast, we will do it again. And we will have good time again. Anyway, I'm, I'm very glad today that we have Muslims calling. And especially we have the uh, the uh, Mr. Salah who called in the beginning. I hope tomorrow he will call me and he will say he decided to leave Islam. He was very excited. And I think even this guy who is very excited, you know, this is how all it work. In the beginning, they go aggressive, they go angry, but then they leave Islam. And I will not be surprised if this guy who is just hang up, he will call me back and say, Islam is stupid, I decide to leave Islam. I have a guy who used to open a chat room in Paltok for three years every day to attack me. And one day, he came to the chat room and he announced himself out of the cult of Islam. And he said, everything this guy he said is absolutely true. Islam is garbage. And right away the Muslims accuse me 
that I was paying him for three years and he's a fake Muslim as usual so let us hope that those who call today they will be out of Islam by the end of the night today especially Mr. Salah and maybe the one who called me today he will leave Islam soon very soon and we will see thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false thank you and God bless